Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to our live coverage of Stream Robotics 2024 hosted live at the University of Southampton. We have an action packed two days ahead of us as we see the culmination of six months of really hard work by all students and their teams as they battle it out in our arena. My name is Anton, joining me today is Imi. Imi, good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, I am very good. I am so excited to get this all started today. This is, as Anton said, six months of hard work from our teams and we cannot wait to see what they've produced and see it all in the arena. Absolutely. Now, ostensibly, we're all here for a game. Obviously, yes. we wouldn't be here otherwise. That game this year is called Final Frontier. And for the first time, we actually have a backstory for our game. You are working on behalf of one of four powerful civilizations. Nova Republic, Freedom Alliance, The Syndicate and Xyflorex 7 Beta each one itching to conquer the cosmos. The stars are within your grasp, and the asteroid field, that's your gold mine, teeming with precious resources. But it's never that simple. Nested deep within those asteroids is the egg, a ticking time bomb of cosmic proportions. Disturb it, and you might just unleash chaos like you've never seen before. Your mission, haul those asteroids back to your home planets, or even better, direct the intergalactic spaceship under construction. But be cautious, one wrong move and your civilization could pay the price, or perhaps another civilization could take the fall. Yes, so as is traditional with student robotics, we have four robots in the arena which will be competing against each other per round. Each robot starts on their home planet. This is shown highlighted on the screen. Unlike uh, previous years, we have these lovely trapezium-shaped home zones running along each edge of the arena. Each home planet contains a spaceship. This is a movable box into which the team can collect their asteroids. And the asteroids are going to be shown right now on your screen, dotted around the arena, um, centrally um, as boxes. Um, these are the gold tokens that you can see right now. Let's go over the point situations that might arise from them. If, a, if an asteroid is within a home planet, not in a spaceship, that asteroid is worth 12 game points each. So in this scenario, Team Orange has one asteroid in their home planet and therefore receives 12 points. Now, if an asteroid is within a spaceship and that spaceship is within the home planet of the team, each asteroid is worth 40 points. So in this case, Team Green has 40 points. And um, the spaceships um, are only worth points if they are within the respective team's home planet. And um, another thing to add is that the spaceships in this game are movable. They are rubs on casters. So that means stealing and other shenanigans are possible. Now, as I alluded to um, earlier, there is also the egg. And that is shown right now on your screen as the red token in the middle of the arena. This is where a lot of shenanigans can ensue. What I'm going to term as egg shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that egg is on a home planet, then the team's points in that home planet are reduced to one quarter. So taking this image as an example, despite the fact that Team Green has 24 points because of the asteroids in their home planet, the egg reduces that to a quarter, therefore the final score in this scenario will be six. And finally, if the egg is in the spaceship and on the home planet, then that's even worse. The team's points get reduced to zero. So again, despite the fact that this team has collected ostensibly 80 points by having two asteroids in their spaceship, in their home planet, that egg reduces all of their points to zero. And one thing to quickly add, there is a bonus point available to teams for moving out of their home zone, and that point is applied only after all the other relevant deductions by the egg are made. So we don't end up with fractional one quarter point situations. <laughs> I am very excited for all these egg based shenanigans. So an outline for the day, our league matches are going to start at 12.40, and then we have about two hours of matches. That's a lot of robotics. We will then be wrapping up around five o'clock. So um, as Amy just mentioned, we have a lot of robotics. We have about 32 league matches today, and those league matches are about, they're about two and a half minutes, um, two and a half minutes each. So that's over an hour of high action factor robotics. Yes. I'm just 
<laughs> very excited for all of this. <laughs> and then tomorrow, um, those league matches are used to uh, see the knockouts, which will occur tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll have the finals and the course finals. And I've done that in reverse. <laughs> we have, have the course have. finals, semi finals, and finals That's tomorrow. That's traditional order. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> yes. So, after with all of this happening, it's important to note that Student Robotics is a charity, and none of what we do is possible without the generous donations from our sponsors. So on the screen, we're just showing you uh, all of our sponsors, but we'd like to highlight, highlight a couple in particular. Adventurous Machines, IT Dev, and the Electronics and Computer, de Computer Science Department at the University of Southampton have all generated, oh my goodness, this early and I'm already messing things up, That's have all, all donated generously, and they help support the work. We are run by volunteers, so every support is highly, Appreciate it. Oh yeah, my pretty, yeah, it's oh fine. My you're, you're just getting fueled up for all I'm the high action. I'm getting fueled up. I'm getting fueled up. I'm so excited that I can't get my words out. No, anymore. exactly. I, I get that the same. <laughs> and by the way, I'm going to say this over and over again. Um, well, I probably will. If you want to go volunteer, <laughs> streamrobotics.org/volunteer. Go there. Um, yes, please, join, please come, do. come join us. Come get your lovely blue shirt. Exactly. Um, very high worth. Have very high value. Yes, high value. <laughs> high value deeds. <laughs> So see, you can see the model here on the screen. You might even appear in that blue shirt photo. You can you see might. me at the front of the set of a shark cat. <laughs> oh, that's a good shark cat. Yeah, I'm full from the left. Yes. The front. Yeah. <laughs> have you got the shark cat with you today? I haven't, but I have got a shark. Oh, okay. I've got the absorb okay. high IKEA shark. Nice. This is my answer to Hills Road. Who also <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, last year they had a lot of sharks going around. They did have a lot of sharks. Very snappy situation. I'm so excited to see all the themes for this year. Exactly. I've, I've already seen one amazing one, and that's Team MAI, Gymnasium mm. Marks in the store. So last year they all dressed up as um, raspberry pies, yes. uh, which made me very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, so earlier we alluded to the league points. Um, these feed into our league, as you can see here on the um, right-hand side. Gosh, uh, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> we'll get there, all right? Um, and these leagues are used to see the knockout rounds, which I said uh, occur tomorrow. Yes, so you may see that some teams already have a large number of both league and game points. This is because we've actually already been running events prior to this competition day. So, Student Robotics this year has been made of three different phases. We had our challenges, the virtual competition, and the main league of knockouts, which is where we find ourselves today. So, first of all, we have the challenges. This was an opportunity to gain the league points before the competition and to encourage continuous development throughout the competition cycle. So, um, the teams got eight league points per challenge submitted before each of the two deadlines for a maximum of 16 league points from these challenges. Yes. So, more about these challenges. There were three. The first one was for movement. This was autonomously completing three continuous circuits of a rectangular path. But importantly, they could not deviate from this path by more than 300 millimetres. And we'd like to thank the Royal Grammar School in Guildford for allowing us to use this video. Yes. Secondly, we have the mechanical challenge. Um, this video was graciously provided by Hills Road. Um, the challenge of this one was to lift an asteroid at least 100 millimetres off of the ground hold it there for 10 seconds and then place it back onto the ground. So obviously the the, um, the idea being, we, uh, because of the nature of the game, we want to encourage them to get a mechanism working before they come to the competition. Mm -hmm. And finally, we had our vision challenge. This was to demonstrate using the LEDs on our brain boards, awareness of the position relative to three arena wall markers. This is crucial because without identifying these wall markers, robots will find it very hard to drive around the arena. And so, this brings us on to the virtual competition. In February, we hosted a virtual competition, which was a simulated world of the real arena that we are running today. Teams were invited to submit their code into league style matches, and we'd like to thank all of the volunteers that helped make this possible. So we can't just tell you about it and not show you. Let's watch some exciting clips from the virtual competition this year. college there they're going for a spaceship not sure entirely what they want to do with that some movement down from haberdashers there they get two asteroids immediately into their spaceship and then do something with their spaceship are they putting it into that corner to make it safe who knows what they're doing three asteroids in the spaceship bottom left but I am not entirely certain from my
20 game points for them. Now, Hampton School have been running a little bit slower. They've got one asteroid onto their home planet, which is great. Can they get the asteroid that is in their arms at the moment onto their spaceship? No, not quite. But that is still two asteroids onto them. Now, interestingly, Hayden School have picked up the egg and deposited it onto Hampton School. They slowly filled up their spaceship, but lost last time to Hayden, who uh, filled up much more quickly. We'll see how they do. And Collier's in the yellow, who we see uh, immediately going off and grabbing two and knocking the egg off the nest initially, but not quite sure what they're doing. They drop two asteroids on the nest, and that's not worth any points. Let's see how this all goes. As things get underway, we're about to see the first two uh, asteroids going into the spaceships, and we do, both from Hills Road and from Collier's. Not seen any spaceshipage yet in the north from Queen Mary's, nor on the right from Headington's. These are all very, very experienced teams that we're seeing in this match. So this is going to be quite interesting to watch, but right now it's looking like the advantage is very much with Colliers over there on the left as they get their fourth asteroid on their home planet. And oh, I think the egg is in play and that is going to be quite... They may have done so a little early at this point. Sherborne, still a commanding performance from them, showing us exactly how it's done with that strategy of theirs. And I think they're also benefiting from a rather nice little spaceship steal there with the Collier's spaceship sitting over their home planet, giving them an additional 40 points. Sherborne now are a little caught up. They're lining up on the egg. I'm not sure what their egg strategy is here. We've seen them do things with the egg before. They've got something and oh, what, oh, what happened, there? happened there? A bit of an explosion. I think the egg catch somewhat early there. Knocks three robots on their back. Blimey, I did not expect that. Instant replay. <laughs> what <on> Bang! Earth? <laughs> it the detonates. Who knew that the egg could even do that? We have a little bit of a physics interaction going on here, and it kills three robots immediately, and back to the action with three robots on their back. Destroyed in this last match. Wow, oh wow, what an end to that virtual competition yes. there was. I, I do like an explosion, I it's do. very exciting. Hopefully that doesn't happen to yes. the real thing. Yeah, hopefully for health and safety reasons. And also it'll be a shame if anyone's robots got destroyed. No, exactly. But maybe in the final, maybe in the final? Maybe, maybe. A, little, maybe. a small explosion. A small, just a small. Just maybe, a small one. Like confetti, like, pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> party poppers, fire party them pop out. I have been okay. tempted, before I came here, I thought maybe if I buy a set of party oh. poppers and we can go. You know, first robot movement. <laughs> um. If any team is watching this right now, find some party poppers and set them off tomorrow. Yes, do um, it. Do send it for them up to the live stream. Us. Do it for us. Although, <laughs> maybe talk to another blue shirt for safety first. Maybe. We are not liable for no. anything that happens. <laughs> So we're just over two minutes away to our first match. Yes, so exciting. I just, just a quick tidbit of information that I want to give that I just realised. So yesterday, on the 12th of April, was the International Day, the United Nations International Day of Human Spaceflight. So on oh, this day wow. in 1961, the first um, the first human was launched into space. And I thought I think it's quite fitting with our yes. space theme because just as Yuri Gagarin back then was feeling. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> even the arena <laughs> the is arena's getting excited. excited, sorry about that. But just as Yuri Gagarin was feeling uh, anxiety and excitement, I like to think that our astronauts, i.e. our students, are feeling excited about what's about to come in yes. the next two days. We just, timed that just, very well. We timed that very well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so coming up in our first match, we have St. Olaf's Grammar School in Planet Zero. We have Abingdon School in Planet One. We have King Edward School in Planet Two. And we have Harris Westminster sixth form in Planet Three. I'm very excited. I, 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 I just, it's just what I said before. I'm very excited. Mm. I, I, I think, I think this is the first time that we've had a game where there are movable components, and uh, yes. i.e. the spaceship. Yes. I'm looking yep. forward to seeing what happens there. A whole extra layer. I'm really curious to see what the um, strategies are going to be. Some teams might go for collecting as many asteroids as they can and dumping them back home. Mm -hmm. I know some teams are planning on dragging their spaceship around with them, so that should be exciting. And last, but no, no means least, I really hope someone uses the egg. Spicy egg shenanigans. Oh, spicy egg shenanigans. Make the drama it, that can cause. Make it into an omelette. Oh, That's what I want to see. Make it into an omelette. Make, oh. make that hashtag. Hashtag yep. make it into an omelette. Yep. That's our 2024. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
just over 30 seconds. We're going to hand you over. Oh my gosh, you, I'm being oh, blocked been by out. our lovely um, overlay over here. Um, <laughs> we're going to hand over to our lovely commentator, Jake, who will take you through the first match of SR 2024. Thank you very much. We'll see you in two and a half minutes. Well, it looks as though <laughs> that just we as, got ahead of ourselves. just as you were about to um, feast on some lovely pizza provided yeah. us to our volunteers, um, we've had a bit of an issue. Um, the robots seem to maybe they're not awake enough. I mean, I had coffee this morning. I did not. I did not. Maybe that's maybe the they need some coffee. Maybe yeah. they need some coffee. Pour some. It was it was a very early start, especially as a student. I'm used to lying in, so yeah, dragging myself out of bed. At half seven this morning was a, was a bit of a rude wake-up call. Those robots need some encouragement, right? Yes. And obviously we're going to give it to them because oh, we yeah. here love robotics. We are, we are so ready. We are so ready. I wonder how far the teams have to travel to get here. Um, it varies. Uh, we mm. have teams from all over the country, including international. So MAI, Gymnasium, yes. Mark Zindersdorf yes. are from Germany. And I think TLC, the Ladies College Guernsey, are obviously from Guernsey. Yes, um, yeah. My geography is terrible, but I know that's not close to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not that close. So um, I guess most teams, hopefully they got a good night's sleep last night and they either stayed in Southampton from yesterday or they had a really early morning wake up to get here. Yes, um, I, I had a good night's sleep last night. Um, very good, um, list, uh, very good uh, late night trip to Sprinkles. The gelato Ooh. place here in Southampton had a really nice uh, fudge brown smoothie. Really I, I'm not local to Southampton, so I was just looking around, enjoying, no, enjoying the sights. No, that's fair. Southampton is a great place to visit. It is, it um, is. You have a bit of background with student robotics. I do, you? yes. So talk us through that. Yes, so three, five years ago, I started doing robotics. Unfortunately, the first competitions, oh, we're getting word that we are now ready to go. So. Just to repeat, we have St. Olaf's, King Edward Grammar School, Abingdon School, and Harris Westminster Sixth Form. I've got full That's There are back on the round here somewhere, it won't take long. I think we only swap those. Okay, teams. Wow, that's loud. We are getting. Very close for the start of match number 21, the first of the physical competition for Student Robotics 2024. We have Harris Westminster, we have St. Olaf's Grammar School, we have Abingdon School, and we have another team that I can't see. And we will start. Go! That was anticlimactic. Wow, very little happened there. Lots of movement. Come on, right, some movement off the line there from Harris Westminster. Fantastic, knocking some asteroids. We've got movement from Abingdon School as well. Looks like they're going for their box. They're going for the box. They seem to be attaching themselves to the spaceship, which is an interesting strategy. Not sure why they're doing this. They might be trying to get it into a better position, or maybe their strategy is to drag the spaceship with them so they can finish in the right place. We'll see. Looks like they're trying to take it around the arena with them. They're just slowly lining up. Unfortunately, from the Kev corner, we have a code crash, unfortunately. They're going to need to look at the logs to work out what exactly has happened there. Meanwhile, Abingdon School, they've grabbed their spaceship, giving the spaceship to St. Olaus, but fortunately, it doesn't have any asteroids in it at the moment. So they're giving an empty spaceship with no points. Let's see, there's still just over a minute left of this match. Abingdon School looks to be just trying to nicely collect all of the possible spaceships in the far corner. Yeah, collecting spaceships doesn't actually give you 
any points. It's only the asteroids that will get you points. Spaceships only are worth points if they have asteroids in them. Abingdon's robot is still trying to accomplish something. I'm just not sure it's um, doing it particularly successfully. We did see some movement from the Harris Westminster robot, but they have now just run into the wall and stayed there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We do see that time and time again. A little bit of movement very, very quickly, and then not huge amounts. That's unfortunate. Their code is still running, but it's not moving. That's that's unfortunate. We've got the last three seconds of this first round now. And there we go. That is the end of the first match. Very, very well done, team. Very well done. Wow. And wow, wow, and wow. We're off. And we're off. We've started. That's We've, it. That's it. That's the it. The waiting is over. The waiting is over. The 24 is started. We've cut us out of the bag. It, 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 yep. It's all good. Yep. It's all <laughs> yep. happening. It's all happening. So uh, on our live stream chat, be aware, you can comment, you can talk to us, we will talk back. And someone has said, go RGS, which is the Royal Grammar School of Guildford. So, if any, there's support out there. I'm sure Woo! the teams really appreciate that. We, we are also supporting you, even yes. though we're not biased. We would love everyone equally. Yes, <laughs> yeah, no biases here. So, so we oh, had movement. We did have movement. Which is That's really good. Exciting. That's always exciting. Harris Westminster and Abington both moved. Um, yep. Unfortunately, I don't think they managed to collect any um, asteroids, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not sure I saw any of that, but no. baby steps, baby steps. The first games are always, you know, people have not been in the arena before, they're finding their way. There's always unexpected issues. Exactly. Some code is wrong, something catches on the carpet. Mm -hmm. But they'll learn, and that's the, that's the great thing about having all these league matches. You see what works, you see what doesn't, and you can improve. Yeah, and it's also, um, as Amy said before, this is still very early days. Obviously, yes. they have a lot of tinker time, a lot of development time to get everything right, and they will get everything right, and it'll be great. Yes, <laughs> and then we'll have some high-octane robot matches for tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully some today as well. Human number one in the chat said, "Big sad, nothing happened." Oh. I I disagree. Mo robots move. Movement moved. happened. Movement that's happened, and that's something. And that's, that's something. Good, that's good that's enough. Something. Yeah. Even if you just have a little walk around the arena, yeah, that's something. You've done it. I mean, managing to build a robot, Exa make it yeah. drive forwards. Yeah. That's impressive. That's a good start. Exactly. And you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if if you think that's nothing, I would like to challenge you all to right now. Send us evidence, a, a video, kind of how yeah, can we do that? Make a, a robot and Make a robot, send us it maybe now. drive around. Yes. Do it now. So, up next, we have RGS. We have the Royal Grammar School of Guildford. We have the Headington School. We have Westminster, Coll Westminster City School, my apologies. And we have the Ladies College of Guernsey. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Ladies College Guernsey, Headington School, and something I can't see because I'm standing on the wrong side of the monitor. And we're off. We've got movement from two of our robots. Headington is slowly angling itself. Oh, we've got two cubes grabbed already. That's very nicely done by TLC there. Looks like they might be trying to deposit them in their spaceship. Getting close. There we go. That is very nicely done. Very nicely done. We've got the uh, Royal Grammar School robot there. I believe has now... Oh, and the TLC robot has the egg. But it looks like it may be stuck on the plinth there. Oh, that's unfortunate. That egg could be incredibly powerful if they deploy it against their opponents, but damaging if they deploy it against themselves. RGS have very nicely deposited a cube into their spaceship, which I believe they have also moved into the middle of their zone. So they now also have two tokens in their spaceship. Fantastic. That is 80 game points for those. Incredible performance there, RGS. The uh, TLC robot is struggling a bit now. Not sure it's quite figured out how to get off that plinth.
Looks like uh, this robot has lost the tokens it managed to get, and it's pushed one just into Headington School's zone there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it just need, the asteroid just needs to be in contact with any part of the floor or the tape to count as part of on the planet surface. That is well and truly giving 12 points for Headington there. Just over 10 seconds remaining now. And that is the end of this round. A very, very good We have had our first scoring we session have. of SR2024. Everyone's complaining that nothing happens. There, there. We told so, you to wait. We told we, you to wait. Just, it's now, it is now officially. It's happened. Action is happening. It's Action happened. is happening. We had, two, I think, two teams there got two asteroids into their spaceship. I think so. That's a whopping 80, 80 points, points for their teams. Woo! And also, we have had our first egg attempt. Yes. But unfortunately, it didn't go as the quite. Egg proved a bit sticky. Proved a bit sticky. Mm. And Travis from uh, the Ladies College Guernsey, which I think Imi, you just mentioned, they also yes. called their robot I that think last that's, year. I think that's a number plate they put on their robot from last year, and perhaps even the year before. Maybe. An I, ongoing. <laughs> There. Yeah. The legacy of Travis the robot. Exactly. I, that, I don't think that's the only number plated robot that we've had. No, we've last definitely year, had some before. Haberdashers last year, I think they all dressed yes, up as Harry Potter was, characters. Yes, and they had the night bus. They had the night bus. With, a, with the number plates. <laughs> yes, that was very good. Yeah. Um, not sure if it's road legal though. Not sure if the DBLA no. would have a, would have, have something to say about that. <laughs> Speaking of theming, I saw the Headington robot there seemed to have some eyes. They look yeah. quite, like quite piercing into my soul, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe they, that's how they, they, that's how they want us to think that they see the robot, not ah, the webcam. They, they have the eyes. Yeah, or well, maybe they could put mm. webcams in the eyes. Maybe, and then, yeah. That would be cool. Oh, and then they could blink and everything, like googly <laughs> eyes. Have googly eyes. Oh, we have had robots here with googly eyes. We have. <laughs> I love a robot with a face. Look I at do. the personality. I it's do. So it does. So, so oh, someone says that the in the chat that Abington robot is meant to carry the spaceship with and then accumulate boxes along the way. So that's a different strategy to what we saw in this match, which was getting the asteroids and then putting them in the spaceship back in your home planet. Which is worth a lot of points. Which that's is worth that's a lot where of the points, points are yes. worth that. I, I just uh, I know we've said this a lot. We're going to carry <laughs> on saying it throughout the day. We are really excited to see what kind of shenanigans all the teams get up to today. Watch it all unfold. Next so, match in 28 seconds. Yes. We have King Edward Grammar School. We have, oh goodness me, Hazelwick School. There we go. We have Brockenhurst College and we have the College of Richard Collier. Sort of call sounds. Anyways, we will hand you over okay, to the commentators. Seconds the start of match number 23, we have Collier's. King Grammar School, we have Hazelwick and we have Brockenhurst in position, ready to go. Let's begin. Not a huge amount of movement right off the go, but there we go. We have Hazelwick and Brockenhurst nicely off the line there. Brockenhurst just missing an asteroid there. That is unfortunate. Unfortunately, it looks like a bit of a full start maybe from Kegs. Ah, oh, there we go. Just off the line. Unfortunately, Collier is still not a huge amount of movement from their corner. Hey, <clears throat> Hazelwick school is already running into uh, King Edward Grammar School's robot there. Looks like we've got a bit of a tussle going on. Yeah, that's a lot of tension on their front arm. Fortunately, both robots do look like they have small wheels, and so it's not a huge amount of torque. But there we go, a little bit of life now from Colliers. Let's see, can they line up to that first asteroid? Just missing it, unfortunately. Now they're lining up. And we now have a three-way robot collision. That's a three-way robot, yes. Oh. Let's see, Colliers are getting very close to lining up to that egg there. This could be their strategy. We did see a few teams in the virtual competition go for the egg first. It looks like they've just gone past it. Ooh. And it is instead seeking the asteroids there. Yeah, that's good. If they can keep driving forwards, they will get some points. We've got movement from... Um, King Edward Grammar School and Hazelwick, who are still entangled but in a slightly different position. Yeah, and it's hard to see quite from where I am as to where the asteroids they're tangled up with are actually 
regarding the scoring line. It looks from here like they're not, in it fact... It looks like they are still over in the centre. Yeah, that's no points for either. But if Kegs in the final 40 seconds of the match can push it just a few extra centimetres over, that's another 12 points for them. We have the uh, Brockenhurst robot over there, which has run into the wall, it would seem. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's, it's running, it's alive, but it's not moving anywhere. Just under 20 seconds left now. The tussle is still going on, but the other robots are very much not moving. Exciting action. We yeah. had our first robot collision. We did. Our first three way robot collision. Three way robot the, collision. The, yeah. There's asteroids that are in really high demand because everyone's going into them. It's like, I want it. No, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a real asteroid field, there's lots of uh, obstacles to dodge. Absolutely. Yes. So, as you saw, I think you can see on really clearly on the Collier's robot, this year the teams have a big arrow which shows the direction that they want to be driving in. Yep. And that's how we can then orient them when we put them into the arena. Yep, we have a lot of um, team sh um, I'm going to get the name right. Match Ops is that's what they're it. called. That's yep. what the volunteers are called. They are responsible for making sure that the robots are placed correctly and that they start um, on time. Yes. So that arrow is just to tell them which way to point it so they yes. can Yes, does does it reverse into the wall No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Which, um, so Brockenhurst um, is, is a special mention that we need to mention. Um, I can speak English apparently, <laughs> right? Um, so um, I went and spoke to them earlier. Apparently they only have two team members. In, only in, two? Only two. My goodness, so that's a lot of work for That's a lot of work for only two. So it's their team mentor and two other people. Excellent. We've also, we've heard, now we don't know if this is, we haven't confirmed this, but we have heard that their robot is called the Rizzler 3000. Right. Which is a fun name. Can you enlighten I, me as to what that means? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's, I think it's Riz. I think that's what they're going Riz. with. It's got 3000 Riz. <laughs> This, yeah. this is clearly some very charismatic robot there. top level uh, Gen Z lingo <laughs> that I am not privy to because <laughs> we're keeping it from you. We're keeping it from me. Yeah. Oh no, I'm too yeah. old. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I saw one thing I did notice in that match mm -hmm. was that Richard Collins seemed to have a, a sort of lightning theme. I think. Oh. So I saw their team members earlier, and they all have little orange um, lightning bolts painted on their face, mm -hmm. and there's also some black clouds, orange lightning bolts in their robot, so I wonder if we're going to get an explanation for that. Maybe. I maybe. Also thought, could it be Percy Jackson related? Oh, maybe. Orange with Camp Half-Blood and we should lightning bolts. We oh, should probably go speak out the to way of that. I do, I do. I'm gonna, I, might get, I might hit my head on it soon <laughs> after. <laughs> so 20 seconds until our next match, we have the first appearance of Haberdashers. We have Hampton, we have West Beach Grammar, and then we have... Westminster City West School. Westminster City School. I will learn all of the acronyms <laughs> by the end of the day, promise. Grammar School. Okay, we've got early movement from a robot there. Um, and this is the official start of the match. Uh, we've got three robots on the move. And one which seems to be stationary. Looks like the uh, Haberdashers robot have collected two asteroids and got them into their zone and have swept them back out again. Meanwhile, Wizbeach Grammar School looks like their strategy is to have a sucker on their robot to pick cubes up and presumably deposit them in their spaceship, but they haven't managed to grab any yet. The Haberdashers robot, I'm not quite sure what its goal is here. It keeps taking tokens in and out of its zone and um, bringing them over into um, Westminster City School's um, area as well. Yeah, after a point, if asteroids get large enough, they will start to orbit other asteroids. I wonder if that's what Haberdashers are trying to go for here. There's two asteroids in the middle with three orbiting it. It's a, it's a very nice emulation of the concept, yes. I like it, yeah. It's a performance art piece, I think. Just over one minute left, Haberdash is still orbiting the asteroids. Unfortunately, not huge amounts of signs of life from the other teams. That is unfortunate, but we are still early stage and they still have plenty of time to get their robots working. Yes, yeah, so we have had movement from three of our robots in this round, which is very good to see. However, 
two of them have not managed to get very far. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hampton School, they've just left their starting area a little bit, but the movement point only counts for leaving your planet, which unfortunately they haven't quite yet. Now, I am very interested to see, there's just over 30 seconds left, where Haberdashers are going to leave those asteroids, because wherever they end up, if they're on a planet, that team will win this match. They will indeed. It looks like the uh, this robot is slowly orbiting further and further this way with each um, orbit, each loop that it takes. So it may end up crashing into this robot and getting stuck in this zone, That's gonna uh, be some which I'm sure Westminster City School would absolutely love. Here we go, five seconds. Oh no, it just stopped! No way! It stopped! Three centimeters from the oh end. <laughs> I thought the, I thought the spike was something supposed to happen tomorrow. That's the way these things normally go. But spiders are coming out of stick and fast. Exactly. Faster, nearly faster than we can handle them. We're just about hammering them. <laughs> yeah. So oh obviously, the points are determined when the clock strikes zero. Yes. So we were sitting here wondering: Are they about to give all those points? to Westminster City, I think yes, those yeah, ones. Westminster yeah, Westminster City. Exactly. But as if, I think they must have, they, they, they must have like um, timed magic. it to perfection. Yes. They stopped yep. just on line. Just outside, yeah. Just outside. So that was, I think, uh, Haberdashers were just circling around. They were yeah. looking for home. They, they were, couldn't find it. Yeah. They were close, the, they were the, close. The gravitational field of the other asteroids <laughs> meant <laughs> that they went into orbit. I really need to get into the shot of this camera so you can <laughs> see me. Sorry about this. Yeah, um, so, yeah, clearly they got into orbit around one of the asteroids and that's yes. what they were doing. Yeah, um, luckily stopped just in time for giving away all their hard end points. Exactly. Now, um, sorry, um, Haberlash's highest number of game points in the virtual competition last year and mm -hmm. this year and... I think, I'm going to have to verify this, but I believe that they are current defending champions of Stream Robotics. I, Ooh, I, think, I, they I, think, they I think they might be. I think they might be, yes. Um, I, I fully expect someone to come and tell me, no, you're yes. wrong. Yeah, we, we, are, we are ready to be corrected. We are ready the... to be corrected, but yes. I think that's what happens. Yeah. So we also, one uh, interesting robot construction, that Wispeach had a sucker arm. This, I think, means they can reach out, grab down, and pick up these cubes, lift them into their spaceship. That's quite a common theme across robots. It is. I've seen um, quite a lot of sucker arms over different lot. competitions. They, exactly. they keep coming back. Yeah. I mean, they must work. Otherwise, Obviously, you know. otherwise we wouldn't do it. I, I have seen... Um, what have I seen over the years? Um, I'll probably carry on in the next slot because we only have 30 yes, seconds until our like, next. But I've seen conveyor belts, um, uh, suckers, uh, tank treads. Um, yeah, it, there's, sorts, there's whole, all, sorts. all sorts of things yes. that people come up with. So in our next match, we have right. Abington. We have... King Edward Queen Grammar Rose School, we have Hills Road Sixth Form College, and we have Queen Mary College. Just under 10 seconds time as the lasers are showing us. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Nice quick movement off the line there from Queen Mary's College. Unfortunately, it looks like HRS isn't moving at all. Got motion from King Edward Grammar School as well. They have grabbed one token there and it looks like they're taking it back to their home zone. Yep, Queen Mary's has got a lovely sucker. Oh no, is it a grabber? On that the looks like a robot? grabber, but they have been able to grab one asteroid perfectly. They're lining up accurately towards their spaceship. Will they be able to drop the asteroid? Yes, fantastic performance there. Still no signs of life from the Abingdon robot. Can't quite tell what's going on. If you mash the start button enough, it might do something. But after a while, dead is dead. There are definitely some lights there, but not much else. Yeah, in the meantime, Queen Mary's College lining up for their second asteroid. Collected it very nicely. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe King Edward Grammar School has taken a token in and then pulled it back out again. Abingdon School doing their signature now that they are moving, lining up, dragging the spaceship with them. See if they'll be able to actually deploy their fantastic conveyor belt system. King Edward Grammar has now safely deposited an asteroid into their zone. That's a fantastic 12 points for them.
and we have a robot collision. Hopefully, this one shouldn't do us too much harm. No, but there is a little bit of a hook on that arm. There we go, no, because of the soft sides of the Queen Mary's College robot, it was unable to escape unharmed. There's a lovely conveyor belt there on the Abingdon School robot, which is going to raise up that token and assuming the Queen Mary's robot doesn't lose them their spaceship. Oh, that is fantastic. But they've only got 20 seconds left. It's only if the spaceship finishes on the planet is it worth 30 points. At the moment, that asteroid is still worth nothing. So they haven't got long. 10 seconds left. Let's see, Queen Mary's Coys, they're nicely three asteroids. 40, 80, 120 game points for them. Fantastic. It was lovely to see uh, ABS, Abingdon, Abingdon yeah. thank you, uh, tactic in, in action there. Yes, I love that conveyor belt. That is such a cool tactic. And we said earlier about teams choosing to drag their spaceship. Now, this is quite a death or glory tactic. Yep. If you manage to get back home, that is loads of points for you. However, if you don't return, I believe those cubes are worth absolutely they're, they're, nothing. They're, they're worth nothing. Um, yeah. And, but and it, um, unfortunately, it looks as though the trajectory that ABS were going, I kind of think they were going to drive into another team's zone. Yes. So obviously, they might have given those points away. Exactly, which yeah. is a bit tragic. <laughs> you worked so that hard. That would have been oh, so upsetting. Yeah, so upsetting. QMC, Queen Mary's College, they did yes, so well. They did. They, Try, I think that's, that's going to be a very tried and tested tactic yes. that they're using. Yeah. Pick it up, return, pick it up, return. Yep. And it paid off. I think yeah. they got three so or steady. two. What's I that? definitely saw two. Might two. Be the third. I think that is in, in the spaceship as yeah, well. Yeah, 120, yes. 120 game points. That is amazing. <laughs> uh, speaking of um, uh, previous robots that were really interesting, I think it was Queen Mary's. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Queen Mary's that had a sort of corkscrew system when we were dealing with cans a couple of years ago. Yes. Uh, which one was that? Was that I uh, that was can't remember? This off way up. That this was that competition. Up. That was yep. 2022. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. Yes, yep, that that's... was the year I competed in. Oh, that's awesome. why I remember it so well. I see. That makes sense. <laughs> well, you would if you're the one who who participated yes, in it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So we have just under a minute, and we'll run through who is in the next match. We have the ladies' college Guernsey. We have Sherborne, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. Sherborne School. And we have Gymnasium Market Interstorf. And I really hope I'm saying that one right. I have been practicing. <laughs> so I hope it has shown, but we, 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 we shall see. We, we've, we've tried. There we have tried. Was an we attempt. have tried. Attempt and then was made. Finally, in Planet 3, we have Wisbeach Grammar School. Just under. 30 seconds to go. I'm, really, I'm just. I, I'm already. I'm excited for the shenanigans. The, the, a lot of shenanigans have already happened. Yeah. I, I'm just, the drama the, is. Unmatched. Palpable. Pal palpable. That's the <laughs> phrase. Good, that's a good word right there. It's a good phrase. Good yes. Word. Ten seconds of them. We're going to throw it over back to our lovely commentator, Jake. And Kit. Okay, we've got movement from Team TLC and Sherbourne School. And Wizbeach is on the move now as well. Ladies College getting caught on a, an asteroid there. Look, their robot is just the right height to run up on one. And it hasn't quite managed to grab one there. It looks like it might be going for another one. That is very nicely grabbed. In the meantime, we have MAI nicely grabbing a token. Asteroid even. Let's see, can they grab any more? Yes, in between all of the very bright red of MAI's robot, I can't tell if they have a mechanism to put their tokens in their spaceship or whether their plan is to just get them into their zone. There is a little door and a little scoop in the back that I think is Ooh, designed to do that. Got, something's going up and over and yeah. in the wrong direction. Yeah, not in a spaceship, I'm afraid. But it's nice to see they do have the mechanism. And it is in their zone, nonetheless. Yes, that's still 12 game points for them. The, uh, this robot here, I think, just tried to get this token into its spaceship 
but didn't quite manage it and has instead knocked this sideways. But they do have an asteroid in there already, so that is 40 points for them. Oh, MAI is doing something. Sherborn's doing something else. Yeah, we're never quite sure what it is MAI are doing, but Sherborn, they've got one asteroid that they have actually given to Team MAI, and it looks like they're taking the second one back. It's just a trade-off, you know? One for me, one for you. The uh, Wizbeach robot there, just on the very edge of that asteroid, not quite managing to grab it with its sucker. Reminds me of one of those little pecking duck toys that just bobs a little. Oh, and um, that robot is being pushed all the way into their zone. You don't get points for having robots, unfortunately. And you definitely won't be able to pick it up. And that is the end of the round. Just a bit of tussling again. Yeah, a bit of tussling between that was Sherborne and Wizbeach, those robots. They were getting in each other's way. They were yeah. fighting over asteroids. Yeah, one of them was like, just get back into your home planet. Like, <laughs> just, just stay just, there. Just stay there. Uh, stay there. Let, let me take all these yeah, asteroids. Let, 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 these are my points these now. These are my yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine. Mine. <laughs> just, you, can, you can just sit there and watch. Yeah. You, you raised a good point during this match. Um, the ladies' college, funky colour. Yes. Pink. I, I like that colour. I like that colour too. It's very bold. It means it's really easy to see. When we were watching these games, we watched them from up here yep. in the uh, tech box. Yep. And so sometimes it can be hard to yep. identify which robot is which, but the pink, that stands out. That's well, really good. Exactly. One thing you don't see, though, occasionally we do turn around and look over <laughs> the, the edge just so yes. we can confirm yep. when spicy shenanigans are in fact occurring. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that phrase is going to be keep recurring, uh, I think, throughout I, I, the whole day. I, it might Should we be name it the Spicy Shenanigans competition? It might be. It's a spicy Egg Shenanigans Competition 2024. <laughs> That's it. Spicy Egg. Spicy, uh, spicy egg Omelette. Spicy Omelette, yeah. Spicy Omelette. Although yeah. I don't really like spicy food. I don't. It doesn't really sit well with me. You know what? I used to have a really bad... This is so off topic, but I used yeah. to have a really bad spice tolerance. But you know, now I, now a I really love bad what, curry. Sorry? Spice tolerance. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. No, I, I'm terrible. You put the... My mum <laughs> loves spice. Whenever she puts spice... Like, we're going to get back onto robotics, <laughs> I promise. <Easy> but <laughs> but <laughs> when, whenever she puts a little bit of spice... I need to drink like 60 gallons of water to compensate. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh dear. Um, right, well we hope yep. the next robots coming up don't have such an aversion to the spicy shenanigans. There yep. we go, they're not happening. <laughs> yep. So in our next match we have, oh, who do we have? We have King Edward School, not Grammar School. Yep. We have Hampton and Lady Eleanor Holly's Holes? Holly's Holes School, I think. And we have the Henry Box School, which is a new competitor this year. Ooh. They are I think they're the only. Team. They, I think they're the only rookie team this I think year. They might be. Yeah. And then we have Barton Peveril sitting from college. No, no pressure for the rookie team. No but pressure. the fact that you're here, the fact you've built robots, yes. very good. Your first year. Yeah. So impressive to be here. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw it over to Jake. School. Oh, King of the Six School, Hampton School, and Barton Peveril all in place, ready to go. Yeah, this year we have both King Edward VI School and King Edward VI Grammar School, which isn't going to get at all confusing. Not at all. Let's go. Nice movement from all four robots there. All four robots showing signs of life. That is a very strong start. We have the King Edward's robot here has already taken two tokens and is driving them slowly and steadily back towards their home zone. There we go, that is 24 game points for them already in the first 20 seconds of the match. Fantastic performance from them. Barton Peveril as well, they've been able to wedge one asteroid in between their robot's arms. They're lining up towards a second. It's a little bit of an odd noise coming from their robot, although that could be the bag of what is basically shrapnel strapped to their back of their robot. Oh, we have a robot collision there. Looks like they might be fighting over one of those tokens. They have managed to free themselves though. Yes, very well done. Hampton School, can they reclaim that asteroid? We will see. There's still over a minute and a half left, so there's still plenty to play for. Hampton School's robot has a very interesting design. They've got, although I believe those may be mechanum wheels, one on each edge of their robot. Yeah, it's not where you'd normally think, if you think of a car, where you'd put four wheels. But because of this, it means they can turn on the spot and they can move in any direction, not even just forward, back, left and right. And it's, it's hard to work with, but it's a very powerful mechanism. 
the Barton Peveril robot here has taken a third asteroid and nicely deposited it back on their home planet. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is 36 game points for Barton Peveril there. Uh, the Barton Peveril robot also seems to have its own ID card for the college. Yeah, that's interesting. I'd be concerned if it could let itself into buildings. The uprising would come a lot sooner if it could do things like that. It's coming for me. It's presenting you with the ID badge. You're an honorary Barton Peveril student. Uh, I, I, I don't know, it believe, I believe it may just be depositing an asteroid in um, Haberdash's HBS. home zone. That's yeah. an interesting strategy to I'm sure, give. I'm sure Haberdash's will appreciate it. They that. definitely appreciate it. Giving points to your opponent is a strategy we do see a lot, but it doesn't tend to pan out. I don't think you could quite call it a strategy. It, it happens, though, it's, very it's often. It's an unintentional strategy, perhaps. Oh, without a doubt. Can you call a strategy a strategy if it's unintentional? I think so. And there we go, the end of match number 27. Very well done, teams, very well done. So we do see, or even though we do see competitive spirit, we've also seen generosity, which is not officially the rules, but... <laughs> well, I think that uh, King Edward School heard that the Henry Bot School was new and they thought, you know, we'll, 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 we'll welcome them to the competition. We'll yeah, give them an asteroid. We'll give them an asteroid. Here you we'll go. Give them some bonus points. Welcome. As a, yeah, a lovely Literally. welcome treat. Always appreciated, but not required. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, King Edward's school. school. Not grammar school. Not grammar school. That's, That's going to get so confusing. That's got, mm. um, they did, however, manage to collect 36 uh, game points um, with their tokens. Which yes, good for them. very impressive. Really good. We did also see a collision between Hampton and King Edward's. Yeah. So that was exciting. I think it caused Hampton to lose their box. Oh, uh, Their no. cube, sorry. Their asteroid. asteroid. Oh, my goodness. We'll get there. We'll, we will get there. I think they lost good. their asteroid. And I'm not sure if they were able to reclaim it, but no. I'm uh, sure they will be able to future-proof against that. Hampton did have some funky movement with their Omni wheels. Yes. So I do love an Omni wheel. I do love an Omni oh, wheel. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, Omni wheels. The other one that I've seen, tank treads are always fun to see. yes. Mostly because I think they're quite complicated to do. I've never done it myself. I don't know actually. Personally, I have heard apparently there's a new thing called Swerve Drive, which is where you have a wheel that spins as wheels tend to do, but the wheels also yeah. want an axis that can rotate. Right. So you okay. can, as you're driving, it allows for much more smooth oh, motion. Do we, have well any that. do we have any I of those? I don't know if we have those here I today, don't know. but maybe in a couple of years' time we'll see them coming through. And then obviously, um, just as our spaceships have passive casters on them, sometimes the robots attach have casters just yes. to help them Balance move around and move the arena. Around, yeah. So basically, there's a whole range of Yes. Techniques that our teams have applied. Yeah. Have we cool. ever had a hovercraft robot? I I'm not sure. I think we have. I can't remember which year. I think we Somewhere have. Somewhere in the I've, archives you can find yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to need to go and ask one of our um, long people long who have been alumni. long standing alumni. People yes. who have been here much longer than I. So we do have our next match coming up in under 30 seconds. We have the Royal Grammar School of Guildford. We have Queen Mary's College. We have Haberdashers, and we have St Olaf's Grammar School. Um, we have a, a, an early start from the uh, St. Olive's robot. Okay, I believe we are restarting the match. Robot's got a bit um, got overexcited. Overexcited, false yeah. start. It could not wait to get going. I think that was St. Olaf's. They were so excited. I love the little round shape. I think they uh, they didn't make their first match, so they were really excited to, uh, right, I see. to get in there. They were like, we're they finally were, missing out on all the action. We've yeah. got to go, we've got to go, we've got to go now. But, but fortunately, I think our, our volunteers are very generous and um, just. Um, Normally in athletics, if you <laughs> if you false start, you get disqualified. It's yes. not going to happen here. We're not very here. we want to see everyone compete. We do. That's that's why we're all here. Yeah, exactly. for the love of robotics and seeing them chase around an arena for asteroids. <laughs> so I think we will be restarting this match in about a minute and a half, just under. That, 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 that's what the that's, that's the, what we're to, being told. No, that's to the end of this match. Oh, that's the end so, of this yeah, match. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh well. Oh. We'll be restarting. I'm sure. That's fine. Soon. We'll be starting we'll soon. The uh, commentators Kit and Jake when we do, <coughs> but for now, 
What's your favourite robot so far? I, oh. I know a harsh question to throw at you this early on. I think I think the conveyor belt robot I quite like. Oh, That's yes. quite a funky one that conveyor I haven't belt seen. Is so, I think conveyor belt what? From a technology standpoint, yeah. the conveyor belt is my favourite. Yeah. Thus far, thus far. Thus far, no, no. Still no, plenty of time to no see here. the other the other robots go. But also, I really liked the. Uh, MAI, they're yep. theming. Yep. They have a ladybird theme this year, so the robot is red acrylic and has a bunch of spots all over it. Mm -hmm. And also, showing true commitment, all of their team members and also their mentors and yep. teachers I, are wearing these yep. fabulous cloaks. Sort of a red pink, big cloak with uh, black dots to be ladybirds, which is excellent theming. And we've just heard over the PA that we are going to be starting in two minutes. So unfortunately, you have to listen to us um, yammer oh, on about our favourite robots for two oh, more minutes. No. Oh. Well, should we talk about what led us to student robotics? <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes, we should. After I've got gone done coughing. A, a quick dying, a and quick then, and then. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to schedule it in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, how did I get involved with Student yes. Robotics? So in about 2014, there was a summer school run by a charity called Small Piece, which is basically Student Robotics packed into a week. Um, that's where I met a lot of the volunteers who are actually still here. So that's how much, how much consistency yeah. there is. <laughs> There are people here that were volunteering 10, 15 years ago, which yes. goes to show how a lovely group of people we are. Yes. Yeah, everyone here is so committed and so enthusiastic about yeah. what we do, which is so lovely. Streamrobotics.org slash volunteer. Go do yes, it. Yes, please do, do it now. sign up. Streamrobotics.org. So you found out about this in a small piece. I, I did. found out about this by being a competitor. So some of you might be currently competing or hoping to compete with your school in future years. And once you have graduated from your sixth form, you are then able to sign up to become a blue shirt. This is an, yes, we are modelling them right here, right now. They are they are very good shirts. They are very good shirts. I like, I like to just wear them around. I have like four of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think I have three now, but three. I'm building up my stash. I, slowly but surely. It's really sad because I have oh. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds oh, we're going to go. Seconds. 30 seconds we're going to throw back to our commentators. 20 seconds. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. Okay, we will be starting match 28 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin. Okay, we've got movement from Royal Grammar School Guildford and Queen Mary's College. Queen Mary's College going right for an asteroid. Royal Grammar School Guildford grabbing their spaceship there. Queen Mary's College has just missed that asteroid. Uh, looks like we may be struggling to get this in Olive's yeah, robot started. Um, it either seems to go early or not go at all. And unfortunately, the robot that started all of this isn't moving at all. Press the button multiple times, nothing's happening. We Hopefully, know, we know that will be able to look at that. It can do something. It, it can definitely do something, it just can't do it when we want it to. The uh, Royal Grammar School Guildford robot that I believe it has two asteroids uh, inside. It has grabbed one there nicely and deposited it in a spaceship. That's very well done by them. Uh, and I'm not sure if they're going for this one as well. Ooh. Oh, very, very nearly um, missing that there. But it's nicely grabbed it with its sucker and deposited it in the spaceship as well. Very nicely done by them. Queen Mary's College is lining up to their spaceship and they have placed their first token in there. That's 40 points for them. Very nicely done. Oh, looks like they may be going for the same token. Who's gonna get it? Uh, oh, okay. So this robot has swept it into their zone um, but not managed to grab it looks like the um, Royal Grammar School Guildford robot is just sweeping things in whatever direction it would like yeah I realize asteroids are just sort of all over the place they don't generally sit in grids like this but it makes resetting a bit harder if it just goes and messes around with them all Queen Mary's robot there has got their second token, which they've nicely deposited in their spaceship, uh, while Royal Grammar School Guildford is running into their spaceship. Um, 
At the very least, it has got asteroids in it, so it's still Ooh, worth Queen Mary's College is stealing one from Royal Grammar School Guildford, but they may not have time Ooh. before the end of the round. We've had asteroids now in more asteroids in more spaceships. More asteroids in more spaceships. We've been seeing that uh, the green robot from Royal Grammar School Guildford didn't, didn't want to turn off. It was just too excited to want to keep going. Keep, Infu keep putting all those asteroids in its spaceship. We do like enthusiasm, but only within the framework of our rules. So yes. Matches, two and a half minutes, hard yes. deadline. Yes, no off. starting early, no <laughs> ending late. Nope. We've got to stick to our schedule or we'll never get through all of our matches. No, exactly. Speaking of all of our matches, should we take a look at the lead points? We should. We haven't done that we in a should. while. Let's see and what's going on with them. Oh, wow. wow Wiz up at the top, we have Wiz Beach Grammar School. That's like 500. 54 game points. That is an astonishing that amount. But but Habits actually have even more. They have 725 game points. They do, but they've been edged out by yes. Wispy on lead points. Yes. And this is this is where I'm going to admit my shortcoming. I don't know the I don't know how the lead points are calculated. I know. Uh, it, I, I believe it uh -huh. is. I th now <laughs> now I could be wrong. You could so be wrong. So please don't hold me to this. But I think it is. It's based on where you come. So the number of game points determine your position in the. Uh, in that round, and yep. you'll either come first, second, third, or sadly last. We no. do have to have a last place, unfortunately. Um, and then you are assigned league points. <clears throat> now, I thought it was 8642 in that order, but looking at the league points, I think it must not be because you have a lot of odd numbers up there. No, we do. So I think it must be 4, 3, yeah. 2, and 1. I think so, because. Um you can only get odd numbers. You can't. No, yeah, yeah. No. You couldn't get odd numbers out of eight, six, four, and two. No, probably. That, no, unless, no. Unless we have a unless rather extraordinary really number hard. of uh, ties. Yeah. Because no, that is worth noting. If you tie for two teams, get the same number of game points. They will come joint first, and then well, presumably they have the most. And then yeah. after the next team would come third, and then fourth respectively. Yeah. So hopefully that clears everything up with the league. Hopefully, yes. I think it does. Um, it is it is um, fun to see that this game kind of lends itself well to high scoring games. Yes, I do like a high scoring game. Just the excitement of being able to say, "Oh, we got 120 points." <laughs> yeah, that's so good. So we, yes, we are 20 seconds away from match 29. We will pass you over to the commentators. We have Ruthen School, and we have Hampton School. Three, two. One, begin. Nice, not a huge amount of movement on the line. There we go, Hampton School nicely showing us how it's done. Grabbed onto an asteroid and, and let it go. That is unfortunate. Let's see what they can do. Lining up again. Looks like their strategy seems to be to go mostly on one face. Oh, just knocking it, just missing cake shell for the robot there. Unfortunately, not a huge amount of movement from MAI or from Ruth in school. Got a very nice demonstration of uh, the benefit of Hampton School's um, four wheels there arranged as they are. It did a very nice spin to turn around there. Yeah, that is fantastic. They can move however they like, as we can see. The uh, King Edward Grammar School robot has a an asteroid within its grasp but it is just sitting with it at the moment and not going anywhere oh we've got movement from mai that's interesting it just started moving all on its own don't know why but at least it's moving just over a minute left now it looks like it thinks it's already got a token and is doing things with it. It, it definitely hasn't got a, an asteroid, though. Yes. We do see the fabled invisible asteroids in many of our matches, and it seems it's struck again. MAI has been able to pick one up. Unfortunately, the invisible asteroids are worth no points regardless of where they sit. The uh, MAI team this year have... Um, Got a very coherent theme going on. We can see the entire team there in their nice um, ladybird cloaks and the red spotted robot to match. Now we've got 30 seconds left now. Kegshjomba lining up towards an asteroid, but unfortunately just missing it. Kegs has a robot, has, a, has an asteroid here, but is taking it over into... Um, Hampton School zone instead of their own, which that's I don't think is what they want to yeah, do. Yeah, that's 15 seconds. It's getting close to the planet boundary. 
Let's see where it finishes. Five seconds. Yes, that's on the planet. Three, two, one. End of match. Very well done, all teams. Very well done. Classic scenes. Keg has just given, given, given one of the asteroids to Hampton. Yep. Put it right on the right boundary, on the which line, makes yes. it a bit difficult to it determine. Is. But obviously, we have a crack team of um, we do. volunteers. We also, should we mention the rules? The we rules should. say that if any part of the uh, top down projection of a cube is touching any tape, then it counts as being in that area. So that will count for Hampton, well, Hampton which they will appreciate. So. Yeah, and also if it's between two zones, it's, it, it will counts count as both. both. Yes, so if it lands on the diagonal lines that. Uh, mark out the different home planets mm. then it will count for both teams that also counts for the egg as well so oh we haven't no, blocked it could I wipe have, out two whole teams in one could, go the well thing is, knock it by a quarter it unless it's in a spaceship and spaceship the, on and the, the line and the egg on the line the spaceship oh on my an egg on the line unfortunately we haven't seen a lot of egg play <laughs> we have so not seen much egg play i wonder <laughs> if everyone's a bit uh, yeah. afraid of going near it yeah i think so we'll Shall see if anyone becomes brave enough Obviously, after what happened in the virtual competition, I'd be scared. <laughs> well, so, you don't want to get blown up. No, you don't. It's Maybe like, that egg's <sighs> explosive, yeah. No, yeah. Depends what's in the egg. If it's a cream egg, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I would be going with that. I would be going uh, I'd, right I'd be to that cream egg. Yeah. All over that cream egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe next year the robot competition can be cream eggs, and then we'll just eat eggs. all the spares. 15 pounds Amazon box cream eggs. We'll say cream <laughs> eggs, right? And you have to yeah. uh, put the eggs around. Yeah, egg hunt. That's it. That's egg all. Hunt. Easter oh, egg hunt. Easter Let's egg hunt. Go. We move the competition to Easter time. Yeah, that's we it. We use all the Easter chocolate. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, back to robotics. Back to so we robotic. have a match in just under two minutes, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm saying one minute, 40 seconds. Yeah. Who's in that match? That match will contain mm -hmm. Eltham College. It will also contain Collies. It will contain Barton Peveril and it will contain Headington. Awesome. I think we've seen, I think every team has now competed in at I least so. one I think so. I think yesterday, 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 last match. What was happening yesterday? After the wheel set it up. <laughs> um, we saw the first appearance of Rufin, which was really good, and they moved. But now we're going to hand you over to the commentators. We are. <laughs> Okay, you got a speedy start from Elven College there. Slightly slower one from um, from Headington School, but they are still moving, and they've just run straight into Richard Collier. Uh, Button Pebble Robot seems to be looking for something. I'm not sure what. Not sure what Collie is doing there. It looks like it's trying to escape the arena. That's um, concerning. It, ju it just likes me so much. It really it is trying to, to run through the wall straight at you, Kit. The um, Eltham College robot had a... Had a lot going on in the first few seconds, but now appears to just be settled in the middle of the arena there. Yeah, that does happen quite a lot, particularly in these early matches. We get a nice amount of movement straight out the gate and then on a huge amount. But as the day develops, as teams iterate on their code, we do get more complete movement. Yeah, there are many, many matches left to go, so there will be ample opportunity for teams to improve their robots. Lots going on with Richard Collier's robot, who got very, very close to picking up an asteroid, uh, but unfortunately ran up and got caught on it. Its two front wheels lifted off the ground, um, and then it just went straight for another wall. 
Yeah, now in the Barton Peveril corner, we can actually see inside their robot, and it's trying to move its wheels, but it looks like something in their mechanism is slipping. So it's tr the motor's turning, it but the seem wheels like they aren't. Are, they are pivoting around where I would expect one wheel to be. So could it be that one of their wheels is not working? I think you're right. Yeah, the right-hand wheel is trying to move, but nothing's moving. The left-hand one is clearly working fine. We've got 10 seconds left, and still a reasonable amount going on, but not many asteroids going places. <laughs> Makes the reset easier at the very least. And that is the end of the round. So we've just noticed, Amy and I, yes. call it a Bars and Pebble. Bars and Pebble. They're really cute. They have a really cute robot. They are. They, they were clearly so listening to me earlier when I said I love a robot with a little googly eyes and a little smile. Eyes. Oh, that's so sweet. And I think it had a little ID card. It does have an ID card. It must have a name. <laughs> we're going to have to find out what that is. We're going to have to speak to them yes. um, and find out um, what their names are. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I wonder if that ID card can open doors. <laughs> Have they given it access to their college? It's like... Oh, it, please. Then they can drive around autonomously. It's like when you see those videos of um, uh, people support animals getting a degree certificate <laughs> when they graduate. Like you see little Rover the, the Floofy gonna... Labrador. Yeah. Oh, we should start oh. doing graduation ceremonies in student robotics. We should. And then we they should could get all... everyone up on the stage. They could all parade across. Yeah. They could get a little they could, waterboard. They could have a little, little hat and tassels. So it would be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, Colliers try to um, <laughs> try to escape our arena. They did, yeah. <laughs> they Running see... straight into that wall. Yep. They I, I'm they gonna... know what life is like on the other side. Exactly, and it's great because us volunteers are up here, but unfortunately the robots aren't assigned to be just in the arena. Yes, they're not allowed to go roaming <clears throat> freely, unfortunately. That what, would be fun. That would be fun. What I'm going to put it down to, because it's space themed, they were mm. trying to achieve escape velocity, right? Ah, and break of course, free of, of the orbits of yes. our arena. Yeah. Going to a different galaxy far, different, far away. Far, far away. Right, so we have about Ooh. two minutes till our next round should be round 31. Who do we have in that round? We have Brockenhurst, we have Abingdon, we have Harris Westminster, and we have Sherborne. That's I managed you. to list off all those acronyms without having to call a list. You are learning them so quickly. I am learning them, it's like, um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited to see Abingdon because I want to see if they can get their, if they can score any points with their really cool um, conveyor belt mechanism. Yes. And the last time they managed to load up a cube, it very, very slowly, 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 and then fell into the spaceship. Mm. And uh, hopefully this time they can bring that spaceship home. I want to see more. I want to see egg plays. I do oh, want to see oh, some, uh, someone go for the egg. Oh, we'll hand you yeah. over to Kit and Jake. Oh, all in position, all ready to go, less than 10 seconds. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Well, that was anticlimactic. There we go. So moving off the line there from Harris Westminster and Sherborne. Almost there, Harris Westminster being able to grab an asteroid, but unfortunately not quite. In the meantime, Sherborne, their suction bomber hasn't quite been able to grab that. It sat on it, not really acting as a suction cup it's just a bit of a, a way oh just like it might be able to that yes very there we go. nicely lifted there yes fantastic that's one lifted one in front hopefully that means they'll be able to get two asteroids back into their home planet in the meantime unfortunately not a huge amount of movement there from the abingdon school robot Looks like there might be an issue with their code, unfortunately. Hopefully they can get that fixed before their next match. And then Brockenhurst, little bit of movement. Some twitches there. Let's see, it looks like they might be trying to find the perfect asteroid to go for. They've got a minute and a half still in this match. So there is still plenty of time for them to do something. Unfortunately, whilst both Harris Westminster and Sherborne were very quick off the line, both robots now seem to not be doing very much of anything. It is very nice to see the uh, the Sherbon robots mechanism so nicely done there. It would just need them to get back home. So they they are they are doing very well. They've got the they've got the first half of their strategy down. Uh, it's just the second half that perhaps needs a bit of work. Yeah, they get to the asteroids pretty well by the looks of it. They just need to turn around and get them back to the home planet before they can score anything. But there are points for asteroids being in a robot and that is based on if the robot, if the asteroid comes with it when the robot's lifted. With that suction cup, I think I would call that it would. 
I would certainly hope so. Okay, we have got five seconds left in match 31. And there we go. that is the end of the round. Unfortunately, your, your wish wasn't granted. We didn't no. get to see Abingdon um, using their spicy conveyor mechanism. Uh, next time, next, next time. Next time. I believe their next round, I think, is... I think it's this afternoon, so they have a bit of tinker time in a in between. That's a, that's a good they note. Do. Let's mention, we have um, a little break at four o'clock. We will be going... Four o'clock? Oh, two o'clock! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, well, otherwise I didn't have to be later in the game. <laughs> otherwise, we'd have to be constantly talking for the next two hours. No one wants way, to hear us talk for three hours, too. <laughs> We love robotics, but we also need to recharge. We do, we, we do. do. We do. We, we've had our fantastic volunteers uh, bringing us pizza and biscuits, oh, yes. which are currently over the, the, there. Over no, there, not. Yep. It means I'm here. Oh, no, 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 that's me. It that's means me. not a pizza box, I can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> I, w I mean, it would be great if you could just sort of produce pizza. That would be good, that yeah. Would if be so we have, fun. If, we could, if I could just summon pizza. Yeah. Materialised pizza. Materialized like pizza. pizza. Yeah. Oh, um, dream. Um, Kit raised a very good point in Jake that Sherborne managed to execute the first half of their strategy correctly, which mm. is to suction up the asteroid. Yeah. What they need, what they now need to do, and what they mentioned is they they need to then carry it back to their zone. Yes. But there is one thing that we failed to mention at the beginning of the day. So slap the rest for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, an asteroid in a robot, and um, it's in a robot if. When we pick the robot up, it remains in the robot, like attached to it, it doesn't fall out of the bottom. That asteroid is worth eight points. Yes. So However, it is worth noting that if an asteroid is in your spaceship, that is not considered in your robot. So yeah. if you manage to get three asteroids in your spaceship, but you are not back in your yeah. home planet, that is still nil point, what, unfortunately. What about asteroids in a spaceship? No, 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 sorry. The robots in a spaceship. Ro well, we haven't... <laughs> we haven't oh, quite seen it. Hold oh, yeah, on a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robots I'm in a saying, spaceship. I'm saying, yeah, it's possible. We have imagine, seen a lot of things. Imagine if a little robot could catapult itself into yeah. a spaceship and then paddle around. I'm sorry, is this Caldera 2020, oh, 2019? Oh, I think it is. Well, we're getting away from ourselves. We Pew! have 20 <laughs> seconds until our next match. We have St. Olaf's, we have the Ladies College Guernsey, we have Hilterid, and we have Elton College. Before the start of match 32 in the arena is Eltham College, St Olaf's Grammar School, uh, Ladies College Guernsey, and Hills Roads. Begin. Okay, we've got movement from three of our robots. Hills Road is just charging straight into the side of the arena here. It's got some interesting fingers, I believe, on, on its robot, which are trying to grab this arena marker and tear it down. That is trying to frantically climb out of the arena there, clawing by its fingernails. It's trying so hard to get anywhere but here. Uh, meanwhile, we have the, the Lineage College Guernsey robot had picked up a token and then immediately dropped it again. Presumably it wasn't the one it wanted. I don't know. And it has run up on the plinth again. It had this problem previously. And it seems that as soon as it tries to cross it, it just gets stuck. But it has grabbed the egg there. So I don't know if that's their strategy. And the, uh, the Hills Road robot has been powered down before it can completely destroy the arena. Uh, yep. The Ladies College Guernsey robot is still moving. But I can't tell whether it's stuck on the plinth or just not quite got itself oh it's on the move it's on the move but it's dropped the egg uh looks like That's it's good. going for another asteroid which it has grabbed can it get home with it still well over a minute it could absolutely do it let's see it's moving it's moving is it gonna go for the spaceship it's lining up no oh. It came very close. It is still in its zone. I think it's just got to hope it's not going to knock it out now, which, uh, which it has just done. Oh. It may be able to get this other one in. If it keeps turning around, that asteroid may end up back in its home zone. No, not. unfortunately not. 
I don't think that one's on its home planet either. It's very nicely deposited just outside its home planet. That's very neat. I can appreciate that, but it doesn't get any points. It looks like it might be going back for this one. A second time lucky. Let's see. Less than 20 seconds. It could do it if it can turn in time. Looks like it is now in its home planet. That's something. The robot is carrying it. If it can hold on. No. Oh, and it's dropped. It's on the planet. That's Nicely 12 done. points that for them. That is 12 points for them, yes. And that is the end of the round. What a whirlwind of oh, emotions. It's a good job you can't hear us during that yeah. round. <laughs> we were just cheering on Travis. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It had, I mean, Travis was the star of that show. It was. Because got the egg. It got the egg. It, it dropped the egg. It dropped it. Well, <laughs> we saw last time it got stuck on the, uh, on on the, the plinth that the yeah. egg is on. And it, it nearly free well, it mm. tried to free itself, got stuck, dropped the egg, but then it did free itself ultimately. But I think ideally, um, in that situation, you don't really want to be carrying around the egg because if you finish with the egg, yes. obviously you, you lose, You'll points. lose points. If you inadvertently put it in your home zone, you also lose points. Yes. So it's, it's yeah. probably a good it's, fail it's safe. It's a risky strategy, but yeah. uh, it's a good fail safe to drop it. But they did, yeah. they then, they, they successfully got an asteroid. They carried it to their spaceship and they so nearly <laughs> dropped it in. Oh. <laughs> That was so close. Oh. Dropped, dropped it in. Dropped, dropped it, in, it into dropped it outside, and then pushed it and out. And then pushed it out. <laughs> oh, heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. heartbreaking. But, but, but they did manage to get points in yes. the end. Which is, yeah, they, which, they pulled it back at the end. They yeah. did manage to pick that cube back up and put it correctly in their home zone. Yeah. Which scores them a, 12 po uh, a whole 12 points. 12 points. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. I think we, uh, Hillsborough tried to, I think they tried to run into the arena. Trying to destroy the arena they, that our volunteers to... carefully built. Our volunteers are amazing. They are. Well, they, I... they built a very sturdy arena, so they those did. robots won't get far. Have I told you how to volunteer with SR? <laughs> Stewartrobotics.org. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are, we are very very keen to have any new volunteers. Yep. Please do come and join us. Yep. I mean, you don't look very happy in this picture. Your arms are crossed and you're... And you're it's because I'm smiling. serious. I'm really oh, serious. Oh, I see. You're really, ser yeah, you're really like, serious about student robotics. I'm very serious about student robotics, as you can clearly tell in my <laughs> presentation right now. Um, we all have a lot of fun here. We do. We do. It's, yeah. Oh. Hopefully you can tell from this live stream that yeah. we are. We are, we are enjoying it immensely. We're a good bunch. We yes. love we love seeing um, everyone succeed. I we think there's do. I think there's something magical about getting a group of people together who are all passionate about one thing. Um, yes. You can feel the atmosphere that everyone here is. We want everyone yes. to succeed. Yeah, as we in, do. As said, we're, we're cheering everyone on. It, again, it's a good thing you can't hear us when <laughs> when when the match is going on. You will just hear indiscriminate screaming. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we are just over a minute away from match 32. And in match 32, we have St. Olaf's, we have the Ladies College Guernsey, we have King Edward Grammar School, and we have Hazelwick School. That's the one I haven't nailed. Oh, Hazelwick. Hazelwick. Which Hazelwick. H-Z-W. H-Z-W. I see okay. that and my brain freezes. So, so I will nail that. I'll nail that for later. This is the last match. Uh, no, it's not. I lie. I'm telling complete oh, talkies. I think, I think... Oh, my apologies. I just read the wrong line. Things have changed in front of my eyes. In I, match 32, we have St. Olaf's. We have the Ladies Come to And we have... No, I think it's... That was the previous one. Oh, I no. can't. We can't read. Oh, no. It's all going... Oh, oh no. Everything's happening. It's fine. I think it's match 34. Wait, match 34? I think we've just jumped. I don't know what's I going on. I think we've done some I jumping around. I don't know. It's all funky. It will, it will work out. It will right? work out. Someone because knows what match it is. Not us, I but someone does. Hills Road, Whiz Beach, Roofin mm. and Colliers. Potentially are uh, in this Maybe? <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go to the to live stream and find out. So we've just been told we're restarting yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it seems, it seems that uh, we maybe the arena is as confused as we are. Ah, but, that's all right. But we will be rectifying this and we will work out which league is next. We only yep. have a few left before our Tinker Time. Yep, Tinker Time uh, group photo. So. Uh, oh yes, very important group photo. If I mean, will you be pulling out the shark? No, no, no. I don't shark have a shark cap, but we that. do have sharks and we do have ducks. We, yes, so we do we have. Do, we have, a little we shark have animals. Over there. We have ducks. Oh, um, oh, somewhere where is I have he? a dog. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Have a shark. Let me explain to you the reason for these animals right now. Basically. Basically, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you what's going on. Hills Road every year bring in, and Immy is laughing because Immy is former Hills Road. 
they always bring in animals. Um, 20... I'm not sure why, but um, it's become a bit of a thing we do. 2022 was ducks. Yes, that was my um, year. We that had, was your year? Our theme was Doctor Who. Doctor Who, so if you go and look at... And we brought in a bunch of rubber ducks yep. and uh, scattered them around the arena. Including the live stream, we had a little, yeah, yes. little duck on our... Um... We gave them to one of the teams you and did. they decapitated it. Oh, that's we, tragic. We How can you do that? Duck. And one of them, I can't remember who oh. it was, I think it might have been Collins, but that might not be true. They, they returned it on our desk. Decapitated with little red red marks around its neck. That's it's very sad. That's scary. That's tragic. <laughs> yes. Wow. But uh, we, we are very wholesome here at Yes, Robotics. we will not be. Yeah, we won't. We will not be decapitating. We won't anything. be decapitating anything. We will cheer you on. We will. Um, we, we're really passionate <laughs> to help you. Yes. And the year, year after, Hillsborough brought in a bunch of sharks. Sharks. Little, little sharks. Yeah. Here. And then basically, this is um, this is my answer to Hills Road. So Hills Road, I'm throwing down the gauntlet. <laughs> I also have, I also have mascots. All right. Oh, so we being attacked by it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, I haven't. I've. I didn't get the memo today. I have no. not brought a mascot, but I will see what I can muster up for tomorrow. Sad. So <laughs> that, that's a good reason to tune in tomorrow. If not for the, if the robots, if you're not drawn in by the you know the knockouts and the finals happening tomorrow, then you can be drawn in by. Whatever animal I managed to, to find to bring to the live stream. So I think we are hopefully going to start match. I think it's 33. Well, we'll run through both. So if I it is match so. 33, it will be Queen Mary's College. It will be Westminster City School. It will be King Edward's uh, King Edward School, not the, not the grammar school. Yep. And it will be Hazelwick School. Mm. If it is match 34, it will be Hills Road. It will be uh, Wisbeach Grammar School. It will be. Ruth in school and it'll be Collier's. Maybe it's... it's, it's, it's Should we throw it to, the, to the league schools again? Yeah, let's go have a look at... Let's have a look at the league schools. Let's go we have a look at the league. see that in first place is the Ladies College Guernsey with an impressive 53 league points. League points, that's league fine. Points. Not yeah. game points. Not game, game points. points. That's fine. So um, on the overlay, you can see over here. Wow, I really need to get better of my orientation. You can see the le top 10 league tables right here. Um, uh, Haberdash is doing very well, remaining in second place firmly. And obviously, they're gunning yes. for that top spot. Yes. Here we and go. they Thank do you. have yeah. a massive 725 game points, Woo! which I'm sure they're looking to build on. Yeah. So I think we're going to hit a thousand before the end. Oh, I think I we think can. We're gonna hit I a think thousand. we can. Yeah. Tune in to see if we do make it. Uh, we. There's a large variety of game points. We can see some down at uh, uh, Hills Road, for example. They are currently in tenth, but they do have 436 game points. Wow, well done to some them. Some other teams. Oh, we are so 20 seconds from, away from. 20 seconds away from match 33. 33. Kumsi, WC, Kevin, Hazelwick. Let's go. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and we're off. Motion from all of our teams, um, which is very nice to see. The Westminster Statistical Robot has left its zone and not done much else. The Queen Mary's College Robot is heading over into Westminster City School zone. Um, Hazelwick's doing something particularly interesting there. Their arm is shaking up and down so violently, the ultrasound sensor has actually ripped off the front of it. That's rather impressive. I believe this is the first robot to fall apart in the arena of this this year's competition. Yeah, King Edward School going to see what on earth exactly is going on. It's a, it's a dubious honour, but it, it, it is a remarkable characteristic nonetheless. Let's We've see, King Edward School there, they've grabbed one asteroid. Let's see, can they go for a second? It looks like they're trying to nicely sliding in. Clearly their robot and designed they've, they've to hold two side by the, side. They've run up on the plinth there. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. It does happen a lot. The plinth hopefully won't move that nest with the egg on it. Hazelwick's still kind of waving a little bit almost. The, uh, I'm assuming Queen, that's Queen not intentional. Robot just really wants to get out, I think. Um, it's trying its very best to get out of the arena. The robot uprising really is beginning now at Student Robotics. The, uh, the King Edward School robot is, is definitely doing things. I don't think it's quite figured out that it's stuck on the plinth. So it's just trying to turn and not getting anywhere. No, the webcam does look like it's pointed a little far up, maybe, to be able to te detect some of these much lower asteroids. There are some concerning noises coming from this robot. 
the lovely wine of drill motors gets ingrained in your head after that's all you listen to for two days straight. Yeah, there's only one wheel moving, but it's it's I don't know what it's doing. It's not a good idea. I'm still very confused by what's going on with Hazelwick. I'm assuming because that sensor's come off, it's not getting the feedback it needs for the height. Uh, my assumption was that it's constantly trying to pick something up and it's never registering that it's been picked up because there is nothing to pick up. So it's just trying again and again and again. I think you're right. And there we go. That's the end of match 33. Very, very well done, team. Very well done. We obviously need to talk about Hazelwick's oh, dance going on. <laughs> I think that's the first dancing robot we've seen. Oh, I love a dancing robot. I do love Sometimes a dancing robot. Sometimes you get robot. ones that go doo, 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 and then it's moving around. This one, yeah. just doing a little I wonder movement. what it was pushing. Maybe it was I, think it was, yeah. it, I think it thought it had an asteroid. Yeah. It was furiously trying to pick it up, but to no avail. Maybe it was raving. It Maybe it was sensor. playing dank drum and bass. In <laughs> <laughs> now, which robot was that? Because one of them Hazelwick. 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 Does that have a theme? Maybe their theme should be rave music. Yeah, rave music. Just <laughs> rave around the arena. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what, 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 <laughs> what, <laughs> what well, Jake we're says? Losing our minds. Thirty-three like, leave matches in. Thirty-three, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> what Jake said during that commentary? Apparently, they unfortunately lost one of their ultra fan senses. Yes, I think in, all that it, aggressive dancing knocked it off. Yeah, I think so too. Hopefully, they can fix that. Well, yeah. they do have a tinker time coming up. So that is they good. do. So we have one more match. Uh, match 34. Yes, I think. this is match 34. Um, match 34 coming up this in about will, two minutes. This will contain Hills Road and Planet Zero, uh, Wisbeach Grammar School in Planet One. It will contain Ruth in School in Planet Two, and it will contain Collies in Planet Three. Yep. I'm glad we went this out. I was we did for it. A second. Yep. Yep. But yep, we, yep. We persevered. We figured yeah, it out. We got it there. We got it out. And then what will happen then is there will be a two-hour, uh, uh, two-hour, two-hour gap two hour where. We're going to have our lovely photos taken, um, including the volunteers. Which, by the way, if you want to appear in it, <laughs> you should go to stewerbotics.org slash volunteers. You're really selling this. I'm really selling this, every, right? Every yeah, break, yeah, every, every break. break. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we mention? Well, we can, also, we can thank our sponsors. We can. We can thank well. our sponsors. Uh, they are ITDF, Adven Adventurous Machines. And, and Southampton are going to the electronics and computer science electronics department. At the University of ETS. Southampton. Yes. I which do. is why we are hosting this. Oh, yeah. 25 seconds to the start of the next match. Yes. The last match for our two hour break. Yep. See what they get up We're to. We're going to throw it over back to our lovely Kiss and Jay. Will we be able to get through this round without the Hills Road robot destroying the arena again? Fingers crossed. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let's go. And it looks like it may be doing exactly the same thing as last time. Yep, it's been killed very preemptively for that. Yes, we don't want to have to keep replacing markers every time it comes into the arena. Yeah, they will need a very strong wording. But in the meantime, all three other robots are still moving, which is fantastic. We've, we've got a bit of a collision here. It looks like the, um, the Ruth in School robot is attempting to uh, use its sucker on the same robot that Wisbeach Grammar School wants to grab with its um, grabbers. Um, and they are they are fighting over it. Oh, meanwhile, the um, oh that's that's the Wisbeach Grammar School robot. I've got them confused. The Wisbeach Grammar School robot is managing to pick something up, but then drops it. Is it going to be able to keep this one and take it home? It's lining up in the right direction. It's looking good. Yes. Meanwhile, Richard Collier and Ruth in School are still battling it out for this one token oh very nicely done there they could have just dropped it outside the arena but they managed to get it just inside very well done to them yeah if it's outside the arena it's worth nothing see so still a tussle going on there between colliers and ruthin oh and the uh, wispy's grammar school robot just missed that asteroid there Will it be able to go for another one? We've got just under 50 seconds left, so there is still time. Oh, it's very nearly dragged one into the zone with it. Mm. 
this tussle is still going on between Colliers and Ruthin. I was really hoping for Ruthin to be able to show us the strategy that we saw at the virtual competition, but it looks like they might still need a few bugs tweaking before they can quite do that. Yeah, they're both fighting very hard for this one token and not getting anywhere. Which Wizbeach Grammar School looks like they're making another go for that asteroid there. They're just on the edge of it and not quite managing to grab it. Oh, it looks like these robots may have just separated, but there are only two seconds left. So that is the end of the round. Yep, too little, too late there, I'm afraid. Very well done, All right, teams. So that is the end of the first half it of the day. Is. Yes, it is. Yep. Over so quickly. That was over so quickly. It, it yeah. feels like just a minute ago. We were introducing. We were just the theme, introducing the theme about and the, the egg. rules. Talking about the oh, egg. Spicy egg shenanigans. Spicy that's going to come back. That's going to keep re reoccurring. Spicy omelet egg shenanigans. <laughs> dot png. <laughs> that's what. Dot png. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh wow. We're already losing our minds. We but are. it is fine. We will be back at four with the rest of our afternoon league matches. Yep, and that will kick off, um, as Amy said, at four o'clock with the Ladies College Guernsey, uh, Brockenhurst. Uh, haberdashers and Boston Pebble. Yes. So, yeah, I hope you, um, I hope everyone here has um, enjoyed the matches as yes. much as I have. Yes, I, I've I really enjoyed them. I think so. I think so oh, too. Oh, there's been a lot of, there's been collisions, there's been drama, there's been theft. There's been, there's, there's been, been giving, oh, there's generosity. Been giving, there's been taking. There's been taking. There's been close calls. Close calls. Yes. So yeah. we are just about to wrap up, I think. Yep. But don't, don't, don't be back go anywhere. Be, be back, back at four. Be back, back at four. four. Go um, get get a snack. Get, a get snack. some drinks. Grab all your friends. Yeah. Grab, grab your family. Grab the dog. Grab the grab cat. The dog, grab, yep. grab the dog. Grab the duck. Yeah. You, you know. Where's the shark? Go grab your shark. Grab your shark. This goes grab quack. Your like, get like, everyone. <laughs> they make noises. The shark doesn't go raw, but the ducks go quack, and that's all we need. That's all we need. Yes. Yeah. So be back here at four for four. more robot fun. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to our continued live coverage of Student Robotics 2024. We have had an excellent day filled with a lot of robotic shenanigans, giving, stealing, a bit of egg play involved. And now trying to destroy the arena. Trying to, destroy, <laughs> trying to escape from the arena. It's that we've had it all. Yeah, the start of the robot uprising. You know, it's exactly what we want us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, um, if you're going to have a op robotic uprising, probably a robotics competition is the, the place that you'd expect it to happen. The logical place, yeah. The logical where students place. build robots that autonomously do things. And you just hope they do the things that you told them to do and not, you know, get their own ideas. <laughs> Although, well, one of the teams uh, did mention to me that the robot is like a toddler and it just has a mind of its own, throws <laughs> tantrums, so who knows? Maybe we're at the very start, you know, the literal infancy of it. Literal infancy. But obviously that's what they're, um, they're here to do. They're here for testing. They're here to, to train their toddler, to, to go out and collect their asteroids for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
um, your name is Awana, hello! You, you haven't Awana. done producing, you haven't done presenting today, have yes, you? Yes, no, I did producing and uh, that that was a lot. I, I learned <laughs> a lot, it's my first time producing on Studio Robotics because I've previously done live stream commentating uh, for the past two years. First two so, years? Yeah, uh, straight, SR, after, uh, SR, COVID. Tw straight after COVID. Straight after COVID, SR 2022. Yeah, 2022, I think yeah. we, we did it for the whole day, it was we great We did great it fun. for the entire weekend, <laughs> in fact. And uh, now you see different faces because we realise you probably don't want to hear just two voices no. for two days straight. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit my, about myself. Uh, like Anton, I studied electronic engineering at the University of Southampton. I absolutely loved it, so I still come back here to do events like this. There's just so many opportunities. Uh, I graduated with the Masters. I've now been working in uh, industry for uh, test and bed analytics part of Siemens. So still doing a little bit of robotics <laughs> but not quite uh and i am loving being back at Sea robotics oh, it is a joy every single year to Absolutely. get to do this i i can't say how excited i am about yep. the teams it's it's definitely a mix of nerves and a more so excitement for me but obviously there's an element of nerves obviously because i have to present in front of all of you <laughs> lovely people which i love doing but obviously uh it's a bit nerve-wracking yeah talking at camera <laughs> talking at camera to talking look at, at camera <laughs> hello world yeah look at we we have post-it notes to remind ourselves to look at the camera like, you're not meant to talk about that that is true no um, it's all natural we never get anything wrong here at sr no we, uh, we do this every day <laughs> we know? are perfect we know what we're doing yeah, um, yeah. engineers and public speaking they just go hand in hand absolutely <laughs> <laughs> absolutely uh, yeah um Oh, do you know what also goes hand in hand? Oh, I love for robotics and the fact that there's going to be a match in three minutes. That didn't really work. I, I, I need to come up with better um, uh, transitions I into... I got what into, you were you getting get, at. You get I where get, I was yeah. going for? It was a, it was yeah. a segue. <laughs> it was a segue. <laughs> there was an attempt at a segue. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, who's in our next match? Oh, we have... We, we have a friend here. Oh, we do. Oh, we <laughs> do. We have our lovely dog. <laughs> watching. He, he's watching our arena. Let, let me see if I can convince him to turn around. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Please don't drop him. <laughs> I've been informed by my partner that this dog is called Fiona. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some, uh, Fiona is the name of this dog. That's what we. Um, that's you what stole we your partner's dog. I did. <laughs> I you did. Uh, I, 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 de definitely, definitely. Oh. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch. Um, as I said before the break, I have a bunch of mascots because I'm trying to out mascot Hills Road. <laughs> I'm onto you, Hillsborough. Oh, they got <laughs> quite a few teams have duck themes this year, and they yep. got so excited each time. I was like, oh yeah, I have a little duck here. They're like, yes. So you support our team? It's like, well, you're not the only team with a duck this year. We, we support every team in the, um, equally. We love everyone. Of course. We love everyone. We don't have favourites. Which makes it funny when I was uh, interviewing teams earlier today. Quite a few of them say, "Say we're the best team. Say we're the best team." I was like, well. You're the sixth team to say that today, <laughs> so I can't really say that with it being true because they're all the best teams. Everyone's obviously. the best team. We Just love every, all of them indivi uh, individually, equally. Yeah, like <laughs> the fact that they created something and they come here today to compete, like yeah. before even doing university without mm. having any kind of formal training or robotics, it's just amazing. I think I've said this last year, six months is both equally a really long time and a really short amount of time to get a large scale project because you have to form yeah. the team, um, you know, learn everyone's, learn how everyone works together and then function as a team in order to build the lovely robots that we've been seeing today and I, I've just, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. At six months, feels like it's a long time, so at the start you go, oh, I have plenty of time, and then as you nope. realise, oh, I have two nope. weeks left. Nope. <laughs> story of my degree right there. Yep, story yep. of my... I, uh, no, I didn't, thesis. never said that. Uh, <laughs> <Not camera. laughs> no, I did all of my coursework early, like a good student. Of course. <laughs> so, our next match, our first match of the afternoon, we have the Ladies College, Guernsey, we have Brockenhurst College, Haberdasher School, and Barton Peveril College. And uh, just uh, just thirty seconds. Just um. Oh yes. Yeah. Indeed. Just, oh, it's your turn to be cut off by the Everly. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Mike Wazowski effect. I, I knew I wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're gonna throw it over to Jake. We have the Ladies College Guernsey. We have Brockenhurst. We have Haberdashers, and we have Barton Peveril. and we will get these matches starting in five, four, three. Two, one, begin. Nice quick movement off the line there from Brockenhurst. And in fact, all robots nicely heading towards their asteroids. 
Now all of our teams have had some time over our lunch break and tinker time to work on their robots and it looks like this has given them an opportunity to improve. We've got two different robots here who have both managed to collect an asteroid and return it home. Looks like the Ladies College Guernsey robot is heading straight for its spaceship. So close, um, so close there. Very Just much Just so. missed it. Yeah, but we it have is still in its own. I believe the... Um, the Barton Peveril robot has also deposited a token in the, the um, Guernsey robots section. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And in fact, we have Haberdashers as well, giving an asteroid to Brockenhurst. That's, and in fact, they're likely to do a second by the looks of it. That's not a very good strategy, Brockenhurst. You want points for yourself. Yes, there we go. Towards it's, your spaceship. It's getting the idea. It's there we go. That's better. That's 12 points for Brockenhurst there. In the meantime, we have the Ladies College Guernsey again just missing out on that spaceship. That's still three asteroids on their home planet, but unfortunately not quite getting those precious resources into We've their spaceship. We've got a second one in here from uh, this team. Very nicely done. Yep, another 12 points for Haberdashers there. Is, is that a little victory spin from the Guernsey robot, or is oh, it just turning around? I think it might be, but also they have only they have got a lot of asteroids. Oh, and this robot has now got caught on the egg. Haberdasher School robots is oh, it's just managed to turn around, but isn't taking any asteroids with it. No, unfortunately not. They're getting very close to the one they already have, but it's staying on their home planet at the very least. Brockenhurst are very close to that egg. It looks like they may have. Oh no, there's some signs of life. Hopefully, they can keep the asteroid it looks and the like egg. The, the TLC robot may have gotten caught on one of its own asteroids. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's clearly not quite moving as it's expecting to. We we'll hope that their logic is capable of dealing with that. Yeah, Barton but Peveril is just giving it another one there. Yeah, they might be going in to try and help TLC off of the asteroids, but I'm not entirely sure. Barton Pepper seems very community-minded in this particular game. It's just giving all of its tokens to the Ladies College Guernsey. Yeah, but not getting many for it. And with five seconds left, that, that might cause them some issues. And there we go, the end of match number 35. Very well done, teams. It's a very exciting start coming back for the afternoon. There seems to be a lot of uh, community spirit um, in amongst <laughs> all of our robots. I, I have noticed in the last few years, um, every, at some point, robots just seem to give tokens away. I'm not yeah. sure why. It, it makes me <laughs> hopeful for the robot uprising. You know, maybe it we does. can learn something from them. But Absolutely. yeah, I, I do find it funny. You know, we rely on donations from our sponsors. We do. They clearly rely on donations from other teams. <laughs> yeah, <awesome. laughs> Excellent, absolutely. Uh, it, um, Bart and Pebble there doing a small dance in there. Oh, yeah, the little yeah, wiggle. Little it's wiggle, cute. Wiggle, 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 I mean, wiggle. I'm not sure it's potential, but it is cute. <laughs> it is very cute, but um, yeah. cuteness doesn't get you points, unfortunately. And they no. were the one, but they were one of the ones that were giving, um, they were donating tokens to Rock and Hurst, I think. I think so, yeah. I think, yes. I think so. Yeah. Um, the, I spoke to the team earlier, and it seems like their robot was basically kind of the guts of their version one robot from last year that was taken apart like they took like bearings out of it wheels out of it and created version two and <laughs> i guess this is what they end up with with a little dance <laughs> Did, we've got some notes here boss and peveril um, apparently their, their robot is called boss and bpv bpv v2 which is a big mouthful to say yeah. boss and peveril boss and peveril v2 no boss and peveril's Box pushing vehicle V2. Right, I, oh, it makes sense, right. <laughs> I had to ask him twice Box about that. I was like, didn't you just say BVT? B B B BPV, BPV. Sorry. Oh, it, um, it's a thing that you say like 50 times fast BPV, BPV, V2. It is not. <laughs> it's a tongue not twister. Not in my case. Tongue twister in robot form. Yeah, That's aren't, what that aren't is. all <laughs> TLCs, but not that TLC? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, 25 seconds until our next match. We have. Um, my name is gone. Um, Headington, <laughs> Haberdashers, Hazelwick, and Sherborne. And we're going to transition to our um, lovely commentators, Kit and Jake. And. Hazelwick. Okay, starting in six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, we've got movement from all of our robots. 
which is very good to see. Sherbon robot is using its sucker to pick up the asteroid directly in front of it, but doesn't seem to have quite managed it. The Headington robot is very slowly rotating. And looks like the Hazelwood School robot has just missed that asteroid there. That is very unfortunate, yes. But their robot is actually made, as even though it looks like it, it is made out of carbon fibre. I did think that looked a bit like carbon fibre, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting robot material. It is. It's very difficult to work with in a lot of cases, but it means it's incredibly light and very strong. All of our robots are moving around and attempting to do things, but none of them have quite managed to get a token back yet. No, there's still a minute and a half, so there's still plenty to go for. Hazelwick lining up to their spaceship, but not carrying anything. That would be an excellent strategy if only they had an asteroid. Yeah, that'd be great. Unfortunately, it looks like their suction cup is still engaged. They haven't actually dropped even the invisible asteroids yet. But a little bit of polishing, particularly as we get into tomorrow, they might be able to do very, very well indeed. Yeah, they've still got no shortage of time to improve. The Henry Box robot, I believe, twice looks like it thinks it's retrieved an asteroid and has opened its arms to deposit it. But neither time has it actually had one. Oh, has the Hazelwood School robot grabbed a token there? Yes, it has. That's one asteroid. It's off the floor. They've still got 30 seconds. They might be able to get it back onto their planet. They're moving... Oh, they've, they're moving away from their home zone now. Are they going to be able to find their way back before the end of the round? Headington School, I think, look like they've maybe finally locked on to an asteroid there, but they're just a little bit too far away to grab it. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Something's happening. Looks like it may be scoring a point for the Henry Box School. Yes, there it is. That's over the line. And Hazel points. School have theirs just over the line. And at the end of the game, they've managed to keep it there. Very well done, teams. What a dramatic finish. The dramatic finishes are slowly wow. getting more and more frequent. That was like, you couldn't have <laughs> timed it better if you were trying to. Yeah, exactly. So we had um, uh, HFO Headington. They they pushed um, one of they pushed the token that I assumed they were trying to go for into the zone of Hazelwick, I believe. No, I can't remember. They pushed. So. <laughs> they pushed. They donated one of their tokens in the spirit of generosity. But also um, Hazelwick, who um, at the beginning of the match didn't quite manage to get their sucker working. Um, they did right in the last second. Yeah, saw them. yeah, it was great. It just, you know, woke up and went, yep. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's also quite interesting that we have two teams with suckers now in, in a single arena because yep. I don't remember seeing that in previous years. No, like, no, it, uh, I find, well, I think it's just because you know, suction cups are quite effective at grabbing tokens and it's quite hard to kind of peel them off, if that makes sense. So once you're, you're, once you're carrying them, you're not going to drop it that much. Yeah, it, it yeah. just seems kind of complicated to add something like anytime you include fluids like water or, or air, it, it just seems like a whole layer of complexity. Mm -hmm. But that's what makes it all that more impressive. That adds that whole level of, wow, you guys have built this in six months. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So I, I couldn't quite tell from um, Hazelwick. It seemed like their uh, robot, like the whole thing is 3D printed? Yeah. At least from up here. Carbon fibre. Yep, yeah, car Jake was mentioning it's made out of carbon fibre. It's, it, it, yeah, it's just amazing what these what these people have made. Yeah. I think I think that was the robot that earlier on before the break was doing its dance with its sucker going, plunger going up, down, up, down. Ah, uh, yes, that So one, it's that quite one. nice <laughs> to see them get that finally in check and getting it working. Yeah. Um, we're about 26 seconds away from match 37 between Gymnasium Mark, uh, Indostor, St. Olaf's, <laughs> Barson Peveril, and Kin Edwards Grammar School. Up to Jake. In corner one, we have no one in corner two. And we have King of the Six Grammar School in corner three. And we will get the match started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We've got one robot moving. 
Nice movement there, lining up towards their asteroid. See exactly, can they get it back to their home planet? We'll see. That's Unfor very nicely grabbed there. Well, that's fantastic. Unfortunately, not huge signs of life from the other two robots. But MAI and St. Olav's, not very much going on at all, I'm afraid. Hopefully, it's just a bit of a bug. Hopefully, they can work it out. But at the moment, both robots seem fairly lifeless. Oh, the lifeless. King Edward Grammar School robot took their token. They've moved it around, and they've just ditched it. That's not a good strategy. They have still got plenty of time to retrieve it or go for another one. Oh, that was some speedy movement. See, the entire match leans on Casey. Oh, we got some Ooh, signs of life. Signs of life from MAI. I moved <coughs> slightly close to it and suddenly it sprang into life. I think we've seen this before with MAI. Their robot has sat quietly for a while. Presumably, you know, thinking very hard and then has set off. Yeah, that's that's very weird. Hopefully, with some help from our help desk team, they should be able to work out what's going on. But unfortunately, by moving back, because they've dropped one of the asteroids. That's not what you want to be doing. No, you're meant to carry them to your planet or into the spaceship. It's, it's retrieved the same asteroid it had previously. Is it going to be able to get it back to its home zone? There's still just over just over 40 seconds left. It might be able to. It is currently going the wrong way. Or it can take it into way. King Edward Grammar School section. They've they've got oh they've got an interesting um I think that's like a a throwing mechanism perhaps. They had a, a plate that lifted. It looked like it would have been chucking things into the King Edward Grammar School section. Um, yeah, I think the idea is to have it move rotate backwards and into the spaceships. But unfortunately, they're currently facing the wrong direction and not quite able to line up. They did. They managed to get this token into their home zone and they just left again, bringing it with them. And now they've knocked the plinth. The plinth is wonky. And there we go. The end of match number 37. Very well done, teams. Slightly unfortunate for MAI that they, they did manage to collect tokens, but didn't quite managed to finish finish it off and take it into their phone zone. Yeah, I, I think it's quite complicated though with yeah. the design that they have. I mean, the, the mechanism is simple. You just walk and gather yeah. cubes. We have to somehow keep track of whether there's a cube inside the robot. And yeah. if there isn't, then, you so, know, you, you just set up drag it across uh, the arena. I wonder how they're doing that because I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to go and speak to them yet. Maybe they're using some ultrasound to detect whether or not. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, maybe that's a task for tomorrow to go and speak to them and find out what they're doing. They yeah. are quite impressive though. Um, at every competition that I've seen them at, they have a uh, kind of a poster um, outside of their team pit, kind of explaining what their robot is all about, which I think is is quite cute. And they also have themes. They're always theming. Yes, <laughs> the themes is ladybirds this yep, year. Ladybirds. They wouldn't say why. The, <laughs> they just pointed at one of the, <laughs> the teachers like this kid. <laughs> Considerably less tasty than their previous theme, which was Laura Through Pies. Oh, I, I, I'm not. I, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not quite sure how well it'll go down if you eat, if you're going to eat all the ladybirds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. yeah. Have you seen St. Olaf's robot? Because it seems huge from here. It is massive. That's the, yeah. um, the silver one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the one that um, got a bit over enthusiastic and had the false start, but obviously they've now fixed that code. Um, they uh, A bit too much, maybe. A bit too, uh, maybe, because unfortunately it didn't really move. But again, um, that's what these testing times are for. Of course, that's yeah. why you have Tinker Time. Yeah, exactly. So um, all the teams now, they're, gonna, they're doing really well. We're about 37 seconds away from our next match um, between Haberdashers, Eltham, and um, H. Uh, uh, Henry, Box <laughs> Henry, Henry Box School. School. Yeah. That's why we do it, because <laughs> they are new this year. They're a rookie team, so we will learn your names. <laughs> yeah, and Rufin. We have got 20 seconds. 38, and in the arena we have Ruthin School, Haberdashers, Eltham College, and. The Henry Box School. Okay, starting in four, three, two, one, one go. We've got movement from Haberdashers, movement from 
Eltham College who just missed that token in front of them. It looks like uh, Eltham College uh, also have the um, the four wheels, one on each side of the robots, um, which is an, an interesting way of constructing yeah, the robot. Yeah, we've got a lot of them going this time. Now, that asteroid is moving around that line quite that a is, lot. That is right on that line. I'm not quite sure which zone that's going to count as. That counts as in both. Oh, exciting. Sometimes we are nice. Honest. They, they might be pushing it over more into their zone. There we go. It's actually... Oh, there we go. No, now it's definitely in um, Elton College. If they just leave it alone now, that's 12 points for them. Yeah, they'll get the points for that. Don't touch it. The uh, Henry Box School robot there, I think, is, is, is exhibiting some similar behaviour to their last one, where it looks like it thinks it has a token, and it drops it, but it doesn't actually pick one up. Oh, the Elton College robot there, its grabber just got the, got the box at the wrong angle, I think, and didn't quite manage to move it. The uh, Haberdasher School's robot is trying really, really hard to run into this wall. I wonder if it's going to try and unplug one of the cables from our lights, if that arm gets anywhere. That would not be good. It'd be really funny, though. No, nope. it's going back to the asteroids. That's where you get the points. That's what we want to see. It's moving the same asteroid that was already in its zone. It just it just needs to leave it alone. It yeah, that's very, there's about a centimeter between the edge of that asteroid and the line. Yeah, there, there, are, there are some grinding noises coming from this robot as it tries to run into this wall. One of, one of its um, arms on the front of its robot is bent inwards Lovely, as, it, yeah. as it tries its best to get out of the arena. Eltham College robot going for the same token it didn't quite manage to grab last time, but it may be able to shove this one along with it as it moves. There we go. Nice unintentional um, extra asteroid for them it's there. The best kind of points are the ones Just you don't expect. Just before the end of the round. There we go. Very well done. Uh, Henry Box, uh, first time competing at SR. They got movement, which is uh, really good for them. I bet yeah. they're feeling really shuffled. And so I'd feel, I'd be feeling really shuffled. That is <laughs> an amazing first step, genuinely. Absolutely. Um, and we do have some um, trivia on them. Um, the robot wheels that were given to them by their teacher are older than all of the team members. Now, pr presumably individually and not combined. Because <laughs> no. that, that would be some quite, that would, that would be some very old wheels if that were the case. No, they, they were with like, I think maybe plastic and rubber. So right, not, yeah, yeah. Not quite that old, not ancient. <laughs> not you know. century old wheels. No, but older than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we did see some interesting uh, occurrences from Elton where they um, th th they put the token initially on the boundary, but thankfully, um, and they're probably feeling really chuffed with themselves, they managed to push that token back into their own home zone, which meant that the other team didn't get the points and they, they kept the points themselves. So, I think what was really impressive uh, was also the fact that you know, is it kept grabbing for multiple different asteroids, which yeah. means that they have their uh, asteroid detection algorithm on point. Yeah. It's just a grabber that needs to be tweaked a tiny bit, but yeah. apart from that, it's, it's great. Do you know, it's like when you're at the fun fair and you're trying to use the grabber to grab that really fluffy toy, but That's it, it, exactly it, it, how it, it is. keeps on grabbing and it's like, oh no, you can't have the toy, oh, oh, it's exactly like that. But, yeah. but as you say, they've perfected the location algorithm, which is that little bit of tweaking they need to do. Although, unlike this uh, funfair thing, so I noticed that Griffith was going out of, <laughs> you know, overhanging the arena wall. So it's like, oh, okay, yeah. interesting. That's not one we've seen before. Nope. Um, yeah. 34 Up seconds next. until we hit our next match, match 39, between uh, Westminster City, Hills Road, uh, Gymnasium Marks, Indersdorf, and... King Edward Grammar School. King Edward uh, Hampton, the, Harris, the Westminster. Sixth. Six four. Cool. Sorry. We will. We'll, we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll get them in the we'll end. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> An HWM. And we will start this match in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 
Not a huge amount of movement, but nice movement off the line there from Harris. Not quite being able to grab that asteroid, but they at least moved it a little bit. Looks like they've deployed their kind of front uh, barrier a bit early before they, before they were in range of an asteroid. So perhaps they can modify their code and make it so that it can take that nicely. Yeah, a little bit of calibration like that will go a long way. Not really seeing much from our other robots. Fortunately, Hillsford is not destroying the arena this time, so that's an improvement. That makes me very happy. And this is this is MAI we're talking about here. They have a habit of Oh, I see movement. I see movement. He says as it springs into life. It looks like it looks like from from my angle there there are some pincers inside the robot. So I, I would assume that it kind of it takes something inside, then it closes oh it it closes a gate. And yeah. then what does it do? It opens, opens them it, again it opens and drives it again and before lets... it gets back home, which is I think maybe not what it's aiming for. I don't think that's quite right. Grab an asteroid and then let go of it is an odd. They've strategy. got a, they've got a very nice mechanism going on there. You can you can really see how it would work really nicely if they could get to their spaceship, but they yeah. haven't quite managed to do that yet. It's a little bit more testing, a little more calibration. They have all the pieces there. They just need to wire them all together, as it were. It looks like the, the Westminster City School robot, I, I'm, I'm seeing the wheels shifting slightly. So it looks like it's trying to go somewhere. It's just not quite managing to get there. Oh, the MAI robot is on the move. It's approaching its spaceship. It's got an asteroid. It's making some funny noises. Is it going to be able to get it home? It's going further away from home and now it's hitting the plinth. It doesn't like that. No, that's very close to the that's egg there. That's not I a good sound. No. Unfortunately not, no. That is very close to the egg, and I definitely recommend staying far away from it. Yeah, so far in the competition, we've not really seen any teams go for the egg. They just seem to run into it as an obstacle. Yeah, which is a real shame. We did see a few teams in the virtual competition going for the egg, but apparently not quite yet. And there we go, match number 39 is over. Very well done, teams. Very well done. So, MII again seem to be demonstrating their pace and wait and see strategy before they spring into action. It's a bit interesting. I wonder if they do have a set delay in their code to say, okay, at the start, just wait and see, just ponder it for a while, you know, stroke your beard. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, be like, hmm, what do I want to do? Like, it is interesting <laughs> that you almost like assign human emotions to robots. Yeah. Like all the robots tend to have this sort of technique where they turn yeah. and they look at their surroundings and take everything in. Yeah. And then they turn again. And exactly. Yeah, they're just doing that a bit more, but at least they're moving. So no, exactly. Really and and yeah. to complement that, um, all the teams, well, not all the teams, a lot of teams have put googly eyes on their robots. Which oh, it's so cute. It's really cute. And then. Um, the name escapes me of the team that I've put quite realistic looking eyes on the front of their robots. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which no, is great. I do remember that. Um, yeah. I do remember that. The name escapes me. I'll get back to you guys on that one. Um, but yeah, um, so unfortunately, there wasn't a whole lot of movement from the other members of the team. But yeah, Hills that... Road haven't driven yet. They seem no. to have problems with the uh, connections with the motors. And they seem to have to resolder their robot every one to two weeks. So um, <laughs> it's good that we can see at least a little bit of movement yeah. from the wheels. A lot of progress, a lot of movement. Definitely. But unfortunately, this kind of thing happens, but they shouldn't feel disheartened. They still have a lot of time. They still have a lot of a lot of us lovely volunteers um, on hand to help them um, to help them with their robots to help them get their get their robot moving yeah but at the same time as with any kind of engineering so the way Hills Road uh, worked on their robot is they worked on prototypes and they put them all together and they didn't work and that's that's how real projects work no so exactly they're getting real experience exactly which is always good <laughs> definitely yeah. next up we have uh, Hazelwick School we have uh, Royal Grammar like School in Milford. Harris Westminster School as well, and uh, Elton College. To get a closer look at when it's not in the arena. Um, and our other teams in this match are um, King Edward um, and, yeah, the other ones. We'll come back to that. Excellent. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, go. 
Okay, we have movement from three of our robots. The one that I didn't mention because I needed to do the countdown was Sherborn. Thanks, Kit. Oh, we've got we've got a we've got a um, grab of the spaceship there with the with the sucker. It's a very interesting strategy, taking it to the to the middle of their zone, maybe to make it nicer if they if they line up and grab these tokens and take them back. Not seeing any movement from the Sherborn robot. The Ruthen School robot has left its home zone, but not done much else. Uh, the King Edward School robot, though, is like quickly and quietly managed to get a whole two tokens into its home zone. Oh, very, very nicely done by Royal Grammar School there. They have one token in their home planet and one in their spaceship. It looks like they're taking their second one and putting it into the spaceship. That's very nicely done. And Royal Grammar School Guildford is going for another one. And it's stealing them from King Edward School. Stealing, I think, all of them, if it can. And it just missed one, but that's still two asteroids. It should be able to nicely get home, potentially into its spaceship. That, that will be, if they manage to get four tokens into their spaceship, a whole... 160 points, if my maths are correct. Your maths is correct. 160. That's a very impressive number. That's 120 game points. They've got 30 seconds left to get another one. Ooh, oh, so close. No, just they dropped just it. just dropped it. That's still, that's still a, a very nice... Oh, and the King Edward School robot is recovering some of the tokens um, that RGS stole by taking different ones. Yeah, that's 36 game points for them. Five seconds, RGS. Oh, King Edward's going for the egg. And that is the end of the round. Very, very good show from these robots. Yeah, very good show from these teams whose names I read out completely wrongly. <laughs> Classic up by one error. I was yeah. looking at the wrong line on the league table, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, that was a very high scoring round for both um, King Edward's Grammar and for the Royal Grammar School of Guildford. But that was intense. That, that was very intense. I, I think I might be wrong and I'm open to being corrected. But I think that is the first time, one of the first times we've seen a team steal a whole bunch of other to um, team's tokens. Yeah, and, and not just one. I just think it's, it's an interesting idea because, you know, why use the egg to decrease the team's points when you could just mm. steal their points altogether, you know? I, I, I did speak to one of our other volunteers, Joe, who, who raised a very good point that um, going for the egg may not be worth it because um, you're only you're only reducing the potential of one team, and but you yourself aren't gaining any more points if you go directly for the egg. So maybe that's why we're not seeing as much egg action that's a weird sentence. As much <laughs> egg action um, today as we did see, as Jake mentioned, in the virtual competition. Although, at the same time, if you look at the Royal Grammar School in this match, like, if they'd gotten the egg, that would have been a significant change of events. <laughs> yep, definitely. If they would have gotten eggs, then all of their work would have been for yeah, naught. Everything would have changed. <laughs> yeah, the theft would have been for nothing. It would have been for nothing. It's also... Obviously, they've got something in their algorithm to retry because we did see them yeah. drop it, but then go and try and pick it up again, which was yeah, really good. That, that was that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, good good luck to um, the to K King Edwards. King Edwards, it? I think King so. Edwards, yeah, diligently working away. Yeah, uh, just, uh, we, we believe in you. We sorry. believe it's going to be great. Um, uh, we're about to hit match number forty-one between Hazelwick. Harris Westminster, Eltham, and Hampton. So um, we're going to hand over to our lovely commentary team. We have Harris Westminster, we have Eltham College, and we have Hampton School. They're all in position and ready to go. So let's get the countdown going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 
movement from all of our robots, all heading straight into the arena there. Yeah, the, Elton. Um, this robot here. Elton not quite grabbing that asteroid. They're strafing quite a lot, but not really grabbing anything, which is unfortunate. Looks like the Hamda School robot thinks they've got an asteroid, but didn't quite actually grab it. No. So they're not putting anything into their spaceship. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They're nice. Lego, well, it looks like Lego built grabbing mechanism is fantastic to look at, but unfortunately, it's not actually carrying anything at the moment. They're going, they're giving it another go. Are they going to be able to grab something? Oh, just missed out on knocking that asteroid in. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no asteroid there. The uh, Elton Collins robot there is very, very near that asteroid, but it looks like it might be knocking it into Harris Westminster section. They have indeed. Which I'm sure Harris Westminster appreciates. Oh, they're going to be very happy about that. Meantime, Hampton School, it looks like they're going to grab another, potentially two asteroids, and maybe at risk of giving them to Hazelwick. They've not quite managed to, it looks like their, their grabber arm closes just slightly too high over the top of an asteroid. Oh, that is unfortunate, but with a little bit of calibration, they should be able to fix that. Elf Elfin College is doing great for Harris Westminster. Uh, oh, not anymore. It's managed to take it out. Oh, they were they could have pushed all those asteroids straight Are they going to reach over the edge of the arena and try and grab things now? I think they might. They're making a good go of it. Oh, no, they've turned away. That's good for us. Looks like they might just want to grab the Harris Westminster robot. That's fine. That's a lot of pressure on that ultrasound sensor, but it looks like it came out unscathed. And there we go. End of match number 41. Very well done, teams. Bit interesting to see there a bit of tussle between Eltham and I think Harris Westminster. One tried to grab the other. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Eltham, <laughs> could you hear the motors running? I you could. Know, it was just carrying on, Ugh. you know, in the arena walls, in the other team's <laughs> robots. Yep. But it survived. It did, so which is really good. Yeah. I, I don't, it, it, that's pretty impressive. That's probably more of a testament to the robustness of the motors. Yes. they obviously <laughs> using good quality material in their robot. Did I hear that correctly? Hampton have a mechanism built out of Lego. They do. So their, their grabbers are built out of Lego. One of the students in their team was just really interested in using Lego. Uh, but it was a group decision to use Omniwheels. Like everyone just agreed, this is the best thing we can do. And they went with it. Group decisions are always the best. Of course. Probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, again, um, feel free to throw things in, your, in the chat. Awan and I will be keeping an eye on it. We appear to have some Hazelwick supporters from um, Sayu. I'm sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. I probably have. Sayu Kukwan Tan and Tia M. Um, obviously, both love Hazelwick. Now, obviously, we say we can't be biased towards one team. We love all of the teams individually. But yeah, so yeah, d just make sure to put in the chat um, what you want us to see and we, re we will relay it. And speaking of relaying things, uh, mm -hmm. we just wanted to mention donations. Donations, yes. Obviously, Stu Robotics are a charity. We rely on the generosity of our sponsors. And obviously, um, um, if you choose to, you can also donate. You can go to stewrobotics.org slash donate, or you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. So that's stewrobotics.org slash donate would be awesomely appreciated. Obviously, not compulsory. Obviously. But any donations, yeah. no matter how small, would make a massive difference. Of course. We have another match in we do. 25 <laughs> seconds between Colliers, have, uh, uh, it's not Haberdashers. It it's is uh, Henry Box School. That's it. <laughs> Abington, Abington and Royal Grammar School in Guildford. Good luck to all. Oh. And Abingdon School starting in three, two, one, go. 
We've got movement. We've got movement from all of our robots now. Lots of movement from Collier's there. The Royal Grammar School Guildford robot, I think, is going for its box. This seems to be its go-to strategy. It grabs the box, takes it to the middle of its home zone, and then starts gathering up asteroids. It does make it a lot easier for them to be able to find and has much less risk of accidentally straying onto another home planet. I quite like it as a strategy. The uh, Abingdon robot there looks like they're, they're reaching for their first cube. Their strategy appears to be taking their spaceship around the arena with them, which is quite risky because if they don't get it home at the end of the game, they don't score any points. They've got that lovely conveyor belt mechanism there. I do like it very much. Yes, there we go. Just being able to drag that asteroid up the belt. Will it get into the spaceship? Yes, 40 game points for them. The um, This robot here has managed to uh, use its sucker to lift up one of its tokens and put it in the spaceship, but not quite grab the other one. Now it's got its sucker on the side of the box. Um, I'm not quite sure that's what it's going for. No, we had we saw this similar kind of thing from RGS in their last match, where they got one asteroid and weren't quite able to get the second. Ooh, having the school going for a second asteroid there. Uh, meanwhile, the Richard Collier robot is just sitting there. Googly eyes staring straight into your soul. It's got some. It's got some tokens nicely and firmly secured between itself and the plinth in the middle of the arena. Yeah, that doesn't really count as in the robot. No, I have also noticed you can you can tell who is a Collier student because they all have these bright orange pins. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be. What are they? Zeus the dinosaur, fantastic. Now, having the school look like they've actually done it, they've got their spaceship back onto their home planet. So that is they actually are, they 40 are back game home. points. Do, do, how many tokens do they have in? They have one in the spaceship and one on the arena floor. So that's, that's very nicely done. 52 game points, if my math serves me right. And that is the end of the round. Very well done, teams. Yes, we have managed to see two uh, strategies executed quite well. Abingdon and their lovely so conveyor belt. Cool. We got a really close up view of that conveyor belt, which I think works really well. Oh yeah, I, I think it's brilliant. And I'm really impressed by the number of teams that have thought of some kind of mechanism like that, mm -hmm. like with conveyors or... Uh, yeah, Just like grabbers, it yeah, in, yeah, suckers. I, I do find, I found it in the previous match, I didn't quite get it, but I think Jake nailed it in the head with the Royal Grammar School in Guildford. Um, they're the ones who are appear to pull their spaceship into the middle of their zone and then pull up um, tokens to it and then deposit them in, which I think works really well because, as he says, that avoids the possibility, because obviously the spaceships move, that avoids the possibility of them inadvertently pushing it into another team's zone. Yeah, I think it, it's, it's a very safe and interesting way of thinking yeah. about it. Because then, you know, why make yourself into a box when you can just use the box that's already there? No, exactly. But it is it's awkward. Um, awkward. Awkward. I can't speak English. <laughs> it's equally. There you go. It's equally impressive to see the robots that do um, think about, okay, how can we protect our tokens? So, MAI, they store their tokens inside themselves, they drop that. Um, barrier behind them and obviously no one no one is stealing those tokens apart apart from maybe if someone has a really strong suction cup they can pick up the whole robot i don't think that's going to happen i don't think uh, i don't know i don't know <laughs> uh, but yes I, I just want to mention just in the last half minute uh, that the college of richard collier do have little pins of their dinosaur named Zeus because the robot's name is Thunder Collier so they have this sort of like thunder and lightning theme and they've even painted their faces with lightning bolts which is like you know going the extra mile in terms of uh, team you know like almost looking like a sports team in a way. Committed to the theme it's yeah, like that's yeah. goal. Genuine competition. So yeah next up we have and I always start this and never look at which teams we actually have. We have Head into School, we have Brockenhurst, we have uh, Whiz Beach and we have Queen Mary's College. I did it! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we'll get started in five, four, three, two, one. Begin.
movement from all of our robots there. That's a lovely, strong start. Queen Mary's College going straight for the asteroid right in front of them, grabbing it, lifting it up in the air, and hopefully taking it back to its spaceship. Orienting in the right direction at the very least. Headington School, it looks like they've been able to grab one asteroid, and they're heading again for their home planet as well. Like they might have tried to pick it up with the, with the sucker on their robot, but missed. But because of the way their robot is constructed, they can still sweep it along with them. Queen oh. Mary's College is just missing their spaceship there. Oh, okay, interesting things happening here. Um, Wisbeach Grammar School have grabbed their spaceship and swept it out into the middle of the arena. I don't think they're very happy about that, based on the, the sounds of dismay from this other side of the arena. Yeah, spaceships only award points for the home planet they are on, so that's now worth nothing. Hopefully, maybe, they'll be able to push it back into their home zone by the end of the game. Still just under a minute and a half left, so it's absolutely and possible. And we have a robot collision. It looks like Wispeach Grammar School might be trying to sucker the Queen Mary's College robot. Um, that's not really working for them, because um, that's not really how that robot's constructed. No, but it could have unplugged something, and that would have been really funny. The uh, Headington School robot there is slowly turning around. Looks like it's searching for another cube. Uh, while the Queen Mary's College robot is stuck on the plinth. It's trying to drive through it, but that doesn't... Oh, and um, the... Whiz Beach Grammar School there, it looks like they're giving a point, yeah, actually, giving to a Headington. Point to head Headington are delighted by this. Uh, Whiz really Beach are. less so. Oh, and they have managed to get their sucker onto that, oh. but they've left it in the zone. Oh, that is a real shame. Let's see, can they go back and get it? Suck it down. Yes. Pick it up. Yes. Reversing. No, oh, and they drop it again. Oh, that is a real shame. All the time that asteroid is on the floor, that is points for Headington. If it's up in the air, it's points for Wisbeach. And there are seven seconds left on the clock. Four. On the floor. Two. One. And the yo-yoing is all over. Fantastic performance there for all teams. That asteroid is going to stay with Headington. I'm sure they're very yes, happy about is. that. <laughs> very well done, teams. Unfortunate. So, <laughs> so close and yet so far. Oh. Uh, we're speech just... I just... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're rooting for you. We really are. Um, yeah. But yeah, again, the spirit of not giving up. Is the spirit of not giving up. Um, but it's what um, Jake said quite perfectly. Um, unfortunately for them, when the asteroid was on the, the, the floor, it went to the team of... The name has just completely escaped me. QMC, I think it was Queen Mary's Queen College. Mary's? I think yeah. so. But when, the, but when the asteroid was on its sucker and lifted up, the points would have belonged to Wispeach because obviously a, an asteroid in a robot is worth eight game points, determined by whether or not when we pick the robot up, uh, the asteroid remains with the robot. So, quite unfortunate. Um, <laughs> it was also interesting to see that they did um, initially they did manage to get. Uh, to, uh, asteroids into their spaceship but then they kind of just wave their spaceship around like hey look at me I've got spaceships I've got asteroids and then they unfortunately <laughs> managed to take it out of their zone but that <laughs> that was the thing that I that was the thing that I was kind of looking forward to this morning right because of the fact that the spaceships can move around we get shenanigans like this oh it was so funny <laughs> though like I wish you could have heard it because the teams are going like yeah oh no. hey <laughs> So it's just, like, I think the energy of this yeah. match went like this. It was a sine wave. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. It was a sine yeah. wave. With the timing as well. <laughs> yeah. And, and Wispeach trying to steal the whole of Queen Mary's yeah. robot. <laughs> it's like, okay, we've seen <laughs> stealing asteroids. But not Maybe stealing parts. But not stealing Hello, the whole thing. we're gonna have your servo board. Pop! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll take that thing. We'll you. take a second one. <laughs> yeah. So next up we have Abington, we have Elton College, we have Hala Haberdashers, and we have I could do it. West West Mr. Mr. City City. School. Wee. On to Jake. Abington School, Eltham College. And Haberdasher scores. We will be starting this match in five, four, three, two, two one. one, go. Let's go. 
movement from all of our robots. Lovely to see. Eltham College robot is going in some interesting directions. Abingdon School looks like they're going to grab their box there. Havanesha School's robot has just not quite managed to keep the tokens that it grabbed after ending up in a bit of a tussle with Eltham College there. Looks like Abingdon School has managed to get one of their arms on their spaceship, but not the other one. Uh, they're at least dragging it. It's still in rough so they, control. They, they may can kind of or move it. may not be able to get asteroids into it, their spaceship. We'll have to see. Yeah, they might not line up. It's either going to tumble over into the spaceship or tumble over onto the arena floor. Well, we're about to find out. That we are. Oh, they've turned further away. There's a big gap there. They haven't managed to keep it. Oh, unfortunately not. Hard luck having them. Uh, having the school is now seemingly trying to um, grab the Westminster College robots or Westminster City School. I can do names. Uh, Eltham College looks like they're trying to reach over the arena to grab things. Yeah, there's no asteroids out there, I'm afraid. Abingdon is still making a very good go of it. They've got another asteroid there, but the question is, are they going to be able to get it into their spaceship? So they're heading home at the same time. So if they're in their home zone and they manage to deposit that token, that is still 12 points for them. Oh, that is, that is just on the line there. I don't know if that's going to score points for Abingdon. It's like tiny, tiniest little bit over the tape, I think. Oh, Eltham College has managed to get a token into their zone with very few seconds to spare. And that is now the end of the round. Very well done, teams. Well, if I were an Eltham College's team, I would feel really chuffed right now because they managed to get a token right at the last second. Oh, definitely. Token yes. asteroid, that's what they're called. Asteroid, yeah. Yep. I keep calling them cubes. They are not cubes. Cubes, asteroids, we tokens. Are in the cube, they kind of, over the years of SR, the names kind of interchange. Sometimes they're called tokens. This year, obviously, um, we've had. Gone um, full on we've theme. got a theme. <laughs> Um, who, which, by the way, was the, um, the lovely characters that you saw at the beginning of the match, were at the beginning of the match, beginning of the day rather, were designed by our lovely volunteer Dan Solman. He is um, here, he is helping out, he's been taking photos, you will see him on the live stream tomorrow. So when you do, make sure to post in the chat, Dan, we love your designs, because they are absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> um, you should absolutely do that, everyone should do that. Our volunteers are great. You should join! <laughs> you should join! <laughs> Have I told you how to join Student Robotics? <laughs> StudentRobotics.org slash volunteer. <laughs> you know it off my heart. <laughs> I do know it off my heart. There you go. It's on the screen right now. You could you could appear in that banner photo. There I am with the shark looking more serious. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I need to fit in as um I need to fit in at least um four more of those gratuitous um volunteer plugs uh by the end of today. <laughs> Oh, did you have a quota to, to I reach? do. No, oh, yeah, that's it. Right, yeah. Scarzi, oh, Scarzi, Scarzi came up to me before the day and was like, right, Antoine, listen to me. Come here, right? You better plug. The other no, he didn't do that. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> He's not that mean. He's a lovely... He, we're all lovely here. We're all not lovely, that mean. friendly. He's not mean at all. He's not mean... <laughs> no one is. We're all great. Um, <laughs> How much are you getting paid to <laughs> oh. I, I get paid in pizza. Pizza is a good fuel. Fuel engineers. <laughs> um, so, next uh, up, yeah, we have a uh, Wiz Beach, Beach, I think. I think so. Yes, I'm Wiz forgetting Beach. the alphabet every time. Yes, <laughs> Wiz Beach, Queen Mary's College, uh, Richard Collier, and Hampton Lady Eleanor Hall School. On to Jake. Yeah. Forty-five is going to get started in five. Four, three, two, one, begin. 
Nice moving off the line there from all from three of our robots. And there's the fourth coming, Colliers. It's, it's, it, is, it is very good to see in this competition almost all of our robots are moving, which is absolutely fantastic. That's definitely nice, particularly on a Saturday. It's very impressive. The Hamden School robot, I think... Um, this seems to be a theme with them. Their robot thinks they have an asteroid, but they don't quite, and so they move over to their spaceship but don't deposit anything. The Wizbeach Grammar School robot has got their sucker on a token there, but haven't quite managed to grab it. I think they're, they're reversing and lifting at the same time. Oh, and we have a collision. Yeah, lots of movement there, pushing asteroids from um, Colliers. Oh, that was a bad that's crunch. A, that's a bad sound. The little twangy bits of metal on the front of Wizbeach Grammar School's robot there. Slightly interacting with the Collier's robot. Meanwhile, robots. Queen Mary's College has very quickly and quietly been collecting asteroids there. It has one in its spaceship, one next to its spaceship, and another one on it right now. Yeah, but I think that spaceship next, the asteroid next to the spaceship might come in. Oh, might the, not the, Wizbeach, the Wizbeach robot has picked up another token and dropped it again, unfortunately. Yeah, but that's another one on, the, on their planet surface for Queen Mary's College. Hamden School, they've got. I think they have a token, oh, just within their grasp, but they haven't quite managed to, to nab it. Just under one minute left now. Wisby's Grammar School looking like they might be trying to push some asteroids towards they're their home they're planet. Pushing it, they're pushing it in a useful direction, but it's going to depend whether they get it all the way there. In the meantime, Queen Mary's College, they're lining up to grow a fourth Queen, asteroid. They've Queen lifted Mary's it. College is doing an excellent job in this round. Still quite a lot of tosser there. Those metal bits on the front of Wizbeach Grammar School's robot do look very fragile. Those asteroids as well are very, very close to their planet surface. And they've got 15 seconds to get them over the line. And I don't think they're going to, unfortunately. The Richard Collie's robot looks lost. It's just spinning around in circles. Oh, it knows where it's going. It's, it's going home, at home, maybe? But I, don't, I don't think it's got any asteroids. No, no. it doesn't. It's just doing a bit of a spin. And there we go, the end of match number 45. Very well done, teams. Very well done. So I, I just ran the numbers, right? Queen Mary's got three tokens in the three, wow, three asteroids in their home planet. So there you go. Not and eggs. Not <laughs> eggs. Uh, if they got three eggs, that would be amazing, considering we only have one in the arena. Yeah. Hello, we fabricated an egg. <laughs> real eggs, cream eggs. Earlier, we were talking about cre cream eggs. They slap. All right. So <laughs> not sponsored. Not, not sponsored by cream <laughs> egg. Although Cadbury set us up if you want to. You know. uh, right. So what I was saying, um, Queen Mary's, they had three asteroids in their home planet and one asteroid in their space spaceship which is also in their home planet which means they got a whopping 76 game points that's amazing wow. so I, I i thought it was quite funny how there was that kerfuffle in the middle and um, between the other robots between hampton and the multiple and the whiz beach one which yeah is really weird if you think about it because the arena is huge it's literally yep. the entirety of the cube behind us yep and you have these robots that are relatively small and they still always manage to collide and end up <laughs> in the same places it's because they all want to be in each other's company because they're all like, oh. Yeah, apart from the sounds we heard, which that, were oh, no. breaking each other. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that. L less of that and more of the, uh, you know, being in the same company. Yeah, and like, oh, we're all friendly. And, and yeah. yeah, giving Q, giving tokens, asteroids to each other, g you know, in the spirit of generosity. Of course. That's what we need. But <laughs> what I found I found funny that in the midst of all that commotion, QMC was just diligently in the background going, I'm going to take that token and that token. I was going to say, and I, I love his little arms because they, they yep. named him Q-Bird. And he, he got designed just this morning with like all the space theme. Really? Was, yeah, and, like the goofy eyes, I love it because it looks like a little guy going... <laughs> We, <laughs> I, I do find it. I do find it great when our producer um, switches to a camera angle, and all you can see is the googly eyes. <laughs> it's like that last <laughs> shot. If you're watching the live stream and you go back, that yeah. last shot has got like the little duck driving it. It's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, 20 seconds ish to go. Next we have how not Howard Ashes, Henry Box School. We have uh, Saint Olaf's. We have Royal Grammar School, and we have the Ladies College getting to you. In five, four, three, two, one, go.
We've got movement. We've got movement from all of our robots, I think. Yeah, a little bit. The St. Olive's, the St. Olive's robot has had a bit of trouble, I think. I think this is the first time we've seen them properly moving. They've got their, their very, very big robot there, which is actually doing things. Excellent to see. Oh, unfortunately there, it looks like the Ladies College Guernsey robot got caught slightly on our flag and it pushed the The, the Ladies College out. Guernsey robot has definitely improved since uh, the beginning of today. They got uh, had a few problems getting stuck earlier on, but now they're very reliably managing to take things back to their home zone. They've just missed their spaceship here, but they have managed to get it places. The Henry Box School have moved their box to the middle. This team sent, I think, is standard practice for them at this point. The St. Olive's robot looks a bit lost. Yeah, there's some cows hanging out of their robot. Um, I don't really know how to describe it other than that. They are literally some cows. They're, they're losing their cows. They are yeah. losing their cows on the arena. That's unfortunate. RGS Gilvan nicely dropping an asteroid into their spaceship. The thing that I've been trying to figure out is, so Sonolus Robot seems relatively space-themed. We've got the fantastically painted constellations on one level. You've got the UFO on the top. <laughs> and then you've got cows. Just and cows. I'm, I'm curious to see how it all... I'm, I don't quite see how it all ties together. Just cows. Perhaps I'm missing something. No idea at all. Does anyone from St. Olive's want to explain the cows? Oh, they had a tractor beam originally. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, now the Ladies College Guernsey have the egg. Okay, so they've lost their tractor beam, but they kept the cows. I now, assume it would have it would have tied together nicely if they'd had a tractor beam. I assume. I'm very concerned about that egg. That could end up in the Lady College Guernsey's sighting zone, very, very quick. Four, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Fortunately, no one got egg, but that was very close. We've had some very good performance from our teams in this round. Very nice to see. I do think there is a lot to unpack in that match. Quite a lot happened. Um, say no, that's moved. moved. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> tank looking thing they moved i did um so i was helping out with robot safety inspections this morning and one of the things that we check for is the dimensions that i, I believe from memory the, di the limits are 50 by 50 by 50. they were literally on the boundary they were like 49.5 which you can clearly see reflected um in their massive tank of a robot half a meter <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. Um, it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll take all that. <laughs> yeah, we'll take all that. We're going to use all that space since you're allowing us to. Yeah. The Ladies College Guernsey, in the past, in the previous few matches, they've had a few issues with um, going up. They've had kind of an egg first strategy, I believe. Where yeah, they've and they followed this this time as well. <laughs> So they, they did follow it, but also they've now managed to perfect the algorithm to not get stuck in the pl on the plinth because they did have an issue where they drove onto the plinth and got stuck there. Mm. So it was nice to see them being able to take tokens into their um, uh, into their into their zone. Yeah, because I mean, in, in previous competitions from previous years, there've been several different platforms or larger platforms. It's mm -hmm. quite interesting. Uh, to have the decision to have the egg just be on its own tiny little platform. Mm. I feel like it makes it more complicated rather than easier. No, it's exactly. It's just about the platform. Yeah. So one thing that we haven't done in a while is look at our league table. Let's go and have a look at that just to see where things stand at the moment. Um, Haberdashers, current defending champions for Student <laughs> Robotics 2024, 23. Uh, right, 75 game points. There is still a chance to reach that 1,000 game point mark, and I definitely think we'll reach it. If not today, definitely by tomorrow. <laughs> and of course, there's knockouts. So no, exactly. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> So Match next up, we seven. have uh, Richard Collier, we have Westminster City School, we have Abington School, and we have King Edward the Sixth College. Uh, it's grammar school, sorry. I'll get it in the end. Keg and Kev, <laughs> yeah. Keg and Kev, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 
Nice moving off the line there from Abingdon. As we see so often, their first strategy seems to be go to attach themselves to their spaceship. In the meantime, Collier's very quickly moving, driving straight into the plinth, and they're not doing anything. Oh, the little grabber that they that Abingdon used to attach to the, the spaceship has actually fallen off and is now in the spaceship. I don't think that's what they wanted happening. I don't think that's by design, no. But they are at least still attached on a little bit. They they have they have one end to grab. This happened, I believe, in their last round as well. And they had some issues with depositing their asteroids. They ended up just back on the ground instead of in their bucket. Yeah, that is really unfortunate to see. But their attacks, so hopefully, they will be able to get things lined up properly and get that, by the looks of it, servo attached properly so it yeah, stays it in place. Yeah, like, it looks like the whole servo has fallen yeah. off. Now it's just dangling. That is unfortunate. In the meantime, Westminster City College still, unfortunately, don't seem to be moving. They did move last round, so things are clearly happening. They did, yeah. It's possible some technical issues. They've had some issues, but in the meantime, Keg Shelmford nicely getting two asteroids into their planet, lifting up one of their arms, which I, I don't, don't think, think I've seen before. I don't think we've seen those lift no. up before. That's I quite like it. It means moving around is much easier, and they can turn one direction knowing the asteroid will stay where it is. That's very impressive. I like it. Just over a minute left now, and Collier's still staring at two asteroids in an egg. There's still a minute left, though, that they should be able to dislodge themselves so long as their code is still running. They did they did much the same thing last round, if I recall. Um, they just they just really want those asteroids to stay there, so they're wedging them, you know? Yeah, but that won't get them any points. They need to get back onto their home planet to get the precious resources contained in those asteroids. Abingdon has possession of an asteroid there. The question is whether they're going to be able to get it into their spaceship. Yeah, there's a lot of moving. They've, and they've it lifted is up their, oh, they've lifted up their spaceship grabbing arm. Yeah, it's so they're, getting lined up. They're nicely lined up with it, but the question is whether they'll be able to get that token. And there's not long left of the game, and they do need to get home as well. 15 seconds, Keg Shelmford, there is an asteroid there. It might get over the line, but this is going to be close. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, just in the nick of time. Very well done, Kex. This is what I love about Stune Robotics. Everything Especially in the last part minute. of the days. <laughs> <laughs> Everything wow. gets out of Keg, ugh, just in the last second. Just literally. 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 <laughs> last couple milliseconds. Yeah. And this is only going to get more dramatic as we enter the knockout rounds tomorrow. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Like, as they have more time and take a time, and yep. they can, like, refine the strategies and make everything yeah. work. And it, yep. And yeah, to, to, you know, make sure that they keep all bits of themselves to themselves as well. <laughs> yep, yep. We, we saw Abingdon trying to um, put one of, um, a bit of their um, spaceship grabbing arm into, the, into their spaceship. Um, as much as that makes sure that that part is safe, it's not worth any points. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, to be fair, you know, we've been calling them uh, well, their eggs, the asteroids, we've called them cubes, yep. tokens, you know, yep. maybe the grab arm will work as maybe, well. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe in the future we can have a recycling themed competition, right? Well, so. speaking of recycling, <laughs> didn't it seem like Richard Collier was kind of crushing one of the asteroids? It's true, the yeah, maybe it was compacting <laughs> it to be ready to be reused in oh, later competitions. It's like Wally, you, know, you just like crush <laughs> Everything you go, this will fit. Or well, it's that like that scene out of Monsters Inc. where they all um, compress it, all the things go into the compressor. I, I don't know. I forgot. Uh, I, I'm meant to be Mike Wazowski here. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Well, I'm on TV. <laughs> um, I, yeah. Oh so, man. Next. Oh what? We only have four games left. We only have four. Left. Wow. <gasps> no, where, I feel like we just started. I was just starting to get into it. Where has the time gone? I don't Genuinely. know. Genuinely. Yeah, these competitions are <laughs> They fly wild. by. It's, <laughs> you feel it's, like, oh, I, I've got half an hour to kill. I, I'm no, not exactly. for everything, you know, I, I'm going to take a break. And then you go, there's so much. There's so many things. Everything is exciting. And well, you realize, you know, an hour's just gone by. Exactly. So match 48 between Queen Mary's College, Rufin, Harris Westminster and Hills Road. 20 seconds. Let's go. Oh yeah, you can't hear the music. <laughs> you can't hear the music, but we can, and we like jamming to yeah, it. Yeah, so we're jamming to our music, not the and music. And you're jamming the to your music. <laughs> <laughs> you're jamming to our music, but not this one. <laughs> On to Jake. Three, two.
Nice move, not the line there from Queen Mary's colleagues. Moving up towards an asteroid. Can they get it? We only have two teams in the arena this round, so we'll have to see if there are any interesting interactions or if they're just going to go about their business. Yeah, no shows from Ho Hills Road and Harris Westminster in this match. Hopefully, we will see them again. I imagine they'll be doing some last minute modifications near the end of the day. Oh, knowing both of them, I expect so. Unfortunately, Ruth in school not quite lining up to grab the sucker onto that asteroid. That is a shame. I think that the sucker is partly over it, but because it's not completely covering it, they can't get the suction. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We saw some a very strong performance from Ruth in school in the virtual competition. And unfortunately, that doesn't seem to quite have adapted, at least at this stage in the competition, into the physical event. But hopefully, there is still plenty of time for them to improve their robot, iterate, and perform incredibly well in Queen, the knockouts. Queen Mary's there is grabbing uh, their first asteroid. Hopefully, they'll be able to take it home. Made a little bit of an ugly clicking noise. They seem to they seem to keep running up against. Oh, and they dropped it. Seem to keep running up against the plinth in yeah. the middle there. But they've pushed it. That's at least twelve game points for them. That's more than anyone else is getting right now. Yeah, Ruth in school. Unfortunately, looks like their robot has just completely stopped. Their flag is laying over. The robot's not moving. I think it's gone to sleep. Queen Mary is going for their second one there, which looks like they've grabbed as well. Hopefully they can hold on to this one and manage to get back to their home zone. Yeah, that asteroid, though, might cause them issues that they've placed right next to their spaceship. It's possible their grabber won't quite be able to reach over the edge. But we will see there's still 30 seconds left. Ooh. Okay, they've put it down. They've put it down. That's points for them. That's still points. You don't necessarily need to score a ton of points. You just need to score more than everyone else. And at this moment in time, they are. By, by a long way. By quite a way. That's 24 game points for them versus well, well, zero for everyone else. And that is the end of the round. Oh, finishing with a hug. Finishing with a hug. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate that we didn't see Harris Westminster and Hills Road uh, in that match. Um, obviously, um, they're probably out um, working on the robot and making sure that they're in uh, the best stead that they possibly are for tomorrow. Yeah, they're probably thinking of long-term goals. Yep, to exactly. Sure to, to fix different things. Yeah, yep. you, you never know. This happens towards the end of the day a lot. Of course. Yeah, yeah because um, obviously we'll go into more detail again tomorrow, but uh, everyone uh, that is competing in the league today do en does enter the knockout rounds. So maybe they've made that trade-off in their head. Okay, we if we spend a bit more time perfecting our strategy, it will pay off more in the long run. Yeah, I think it's also interesting taking in like what all the other teams are doing because obviously mm. they're working complete in in complete isolation the rest of the year, mm -hmm. and now they can finally see like, oh, no one's going for this. Or yeah. th these teams are going for eggs. You know, watch out for these teams. They're actually stealing our yeah. tokens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So interesting interactions there. Yeah. But yeah. It's also interesting to see uh, Queen Mary's College appear to be using a double strategy. So they have a sucker on the back and also a grabber on the front. So I do like it when teams do that. So they're able to be a bit more versatile in their strategies. But on top of that, what I really love about Queen Mary is the fact that, you know, it picked up the cube, it dropped mm. the cube. Everyone's going, oh no, it's dropped the cube. And then it didn't give up. It went, no, I'm, I'm going to get that cube. And it pushed it into its area anyway. I think that's a testament really to the the ingenuity of the coders working in the team because obviously oh, you have definitely. to code for, okay, I'm, I haven't succeeded there. I need to try again. But obviously it's working. And there's Which so many good. scenarios, like it's yeah. really impressive. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So uh, it's really sad. We have two more matches left. This is the penultimate it's match exciting, for but it's it is also sad. Sad and it's sad sight sad sighting? Sad yeah. exciting. Exci we'll be back tomorrow. Exa exadment. Oh wow, it really is the end of the day, isn't <laughs> it? It has been a long day. <laughs> yeah, so next we have uh Sherborne, Sherborne I think. School. We have uh, Kev, which is not Kev, it's King Edward's uh, school. And we have St. Olav's and his. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hazelwick, I think. Hey, Hazelwick. We got that. There you uh, go. Hazelwick. Yeah. It's, it's down there now. <laughs> <laughs> I can also read. <laughs> 
Moving from all four robots there, which is fantastic, just what we like to see. All of our robots are on the move. Always love to see that. The uh, St. Olaf's robot appears to be pushing things towards the King Edward School zone. Uh, yeah, Sherborn has managed to take things back to its actual home zone. Very nicely done by them. We've got a bit of a we've got a bit of a fight going on there. I think over that token. Yeah, Sherborn's robot. Sorry, Saint Olaf's robot is incredibly heavy, and so King Edward's School's robot there is getting crushed by the weight of that gigantic robot there. Now, we have Sherborn School. They're nicely lining up towards that asteroid, but they are at risk of giving the points to St. Olavs, who are clearly trying to steal and intimidate King Edward's Grammar School there. Not sure what the strategy is, but they're doing it. The uh, Hazelwick robot here is making some sounds like it's maybe activated the suction pump there, but it's not actually grabbed anything. No, that is unfortunate to see, but they're still moving. There's still plenty of time. There's just over a minute left. That's ample time to be able to get one asteroid into their spaceship. Yes, I do believe that this robot now says something different on the back than it did earlier. It now says, resistance is futile, the Borg. Sounds like fun. 50 seconds remaining now. There's still a tussle there going on between St. Olaf's and Keg. Now they're getting pinned almost exactly Olaf's, into the uh, corner. St. Olaf's is winning. Yeah. It, they're it is slowly pushing it further and further into its section. It looks like that cube might just be on the line at the end of the game. Yeah, that's going to give points to both teams in that. Oh, I've actually just been told there's actually an asteroid inside the St. Olaf's robot. Both of those asteroids are over the line, so both points go to both teams. Ten seconds left now. A little bit of shuddering might make the move, but they are well over that line. So that will be 24 points to both teams. Oh, and the Sherborn robot has just deposited one in the King Edward section just before the end of the round. Well done, King Edward. Well done. I wonder what, what, what was going in the mind of the St. Olaf's robot when it woke up today. It's, it's a bit... That was brutal. <laughs> brutal or just a big hug? Because it can... Yeah, gave, big it, hug slowly pushing uh, yeah, King Edward up, slowly up in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> um, but both teams got points out of it, it seems. That's true, that's St. true. St. Olaf's did manage to capture two asteroids and take it up to the boundary between the two, which is yeah. quite fun to see. <laughs> That's good, but then you just had Sherborn in, in the corner just watching in horror, like, what <laughs> yeah, are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Sherborn did manage to get an asteroid into their zone, so yeah, point to them. Yeah, just which, over the border. Yeah, which that is really lucky, good. Yeah. And then we also have what appears to be a little poem from uh, uh, supposedly a supporter of St. Olaf, from Joe Carrick Lawson in the chat. Come on, Olaf's, you can move. Come on, Olaf's, get in the groove. <laughs> I think that should be the official anthem for St. Olaf's. Because that, come on, oh, let's get in the groove. For come we on, know it is. Come on, lose. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta have a, a video of it or something. We do. Joe <laughs> Carrack Lawson, hit us up with that video. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we are headed into the last match of Saturday um, of Stream Robots 2024. We are. Oh. Oh. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. But it's been amazing. I've really enjoyed every single second of today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason we keep coming back. No, exactly. So I counted yesterday, right? This is my seventh in-person Stream of Bosses competition. Wow. That's this is seven, only my third. Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I will talk about, um, you know, how you can volunteer at the end. So I'm not going to do it now. But match Your 50. Quota. <laughs> my quota. I will meet it at the end. Match 50 coming up between Barson Peveril, Hampton, Collars and the Ladies College Guernsey. Let's go, final match Saturday. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Space Two, <laughs> one, one, let's go. go. 
Okay, we have movement from two of our robots. I'm informed the bottom pedal robot doesn't actually have a battery in it, so it's not going to be moving this particular round. That, that's not how electronics work. They tend to need a battery. I believe they're just here so they can get league points, which is, you know. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I've got some excellent maneuvering going on from Hampton School, who I believe have just deposited a token into their spaceship. Although I can double check. Oh no, they thought they had. They're acting like they have, but they haven't quite actually managed to. However, they are scoring a lot of points for the Barton Peveril team by pushing this token into there. Meanwhile, Ladies College Guernsey is doing a great job there. They've got, I believe, two tokens in their spaceship. Very, very nicely 80 done. 80 game points for you, TLC. Very well <laughs> done. They have been performing very consistently and very well over the course of the competition today. Yeah, they're going to be a team to look out for as we move into the latter part of the league and the knockouts. Not seeing any movement from the Richard Collier robot. No, that's unfortunate. Um, hopefully they spring into life. I'm not feeling super confident. The Hamden School robot appears to have come to a standstill. It's not really doing anything. The, while the Ladies College Guernsey robot has just missed one of the asteroids it tried to grab and is heading home without one. Oh, that's unfortunate to see. They're still doing very well for themselves already. They're going for another one. Are they going to be able to get it? Are they going to be able to get it home? It's just over 30 seconds. They might be able to. They are heading home. Are they going to be able to drop it in the spaceship? Oh no, they've just deposited it nicely on the ground. That's very nice. That means that they definitely have it in their zone for the end of the game. 10 seconds remaining. Can they make it four asteroids? This is going to be close. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of matches for today. Very well done, teams. I think that that's quite a fitted end to Saturday. A lot of people scored points, points were scored, a lot of movement. It was all good. Um, Bars and Peveril, despite not having a battery, they managed to get points due to the generosity of another team. Again, generosity, theme for student robotics, it seems. Of course. Every year we have this theme where teams just donate their tokens to each other. It's fantastic. It's very kind of them, <laughs> yeah, genuinely touching. But I mean, it, I, I think it also shows how uh, different the different teams are at this mm -hmm. point in the day. So, for example, Richard Colliers didn't move at all. No. But, you know, they've moved a lot during the day. So mm. things change literally minute by minute. Definitely. And, I think you, you mentioned that one of the teams had changed the tactics? I, I believe so. I think the, the ladies Connage Guernsey, their robot is called Travis, by the way. They have a really cool number plate on the back. It's, it's really cool. What I saw in the morning is they tried um, a more egg-focused strategy, so they would try and get the egg in the middle, but unfortunately they would get stuck on the plinth. What I've been seeing is that they've changed that, and then we, we saw that here. They managed to successfully deposit, I think, three tokens into their um, Ooh, spaceship, yeah. which is amazing. But it's as you were saying, minute by minute, day, um, minute by minute, we see teams seeing uh, what's going on in the arena and adapting their strategy to see, to reflect what's going on. Yeah, but it's also interesting to see how the teams have different expectations for the robots. And we've had teams mm. today, you know, being super happy just because their robot has moved a tiny bit. And then mm -hmm. you have teams uh, like Ladies College, you know, who are really sad that the robot only dropped in the uh, arena <laughs> rather than the spaceship. And yeah. it's like, well, that's still amazing. You know, you get yeah, points for that. <laughs> exactly. It's like the saying, right? If you aim for the stars, but land on the moon, you've still landed on the moon, oh, right? I that's, love the that, 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 that's still a great. That's still a great achievement. So we're at, at the end of day one. 
This isn't the end of robotics. This is, this is not the, happening. The, this that is, was the last match. The, the, this is. I mean, they they resume tomorrow. It's not gonna. We're not gonna come back at ten o'clock. We're gonna be asleep probably. Um, but we are at the end of day one. Let's take a quick look at the league to see where things stand before we finish. So, oh my God, the <laughs> ladies' college are now at the top. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. To see, oh, see, th this is another thing that's quite amazing. Just, th these standings can change. It's great. Yeah. So we have um, the Ladies College followed by Haberdashers Royal Grammar School uh, in Guildford. I believe that's the one that drags the robot into the middle of the arena, uh, into the middle of his home planet, sorry, and deposits its tokens one by one into it. Uh, followed by Wisbeach, Queen Mary's College and Colliers, Gymnasium Marks Indersdorf, King Edward VI in Chelmsford, Sherbourne, Eltham, uh, Hampton, Barton Peville, Ruthin. Westminster City. I'm reading out the teams because everyone deserves to have their names heard by the world. So, um, oh, oh, just oh, a second. Just We've just had a jump. <laughs> uh, obviously, our lovely team members are inputting the score as we speak. Um, Hampton, Barton, Peverell, Sherborne, Elton, Ruthin, Westminster City, Henry Box, Hills Road, Abingdon, Harris, Westminster, Headington, St. Olaf's, King Edward VI in Southampton, Kensington, Aldridge, Hazelwick, and Hayden and Brockenhurst. You've all been fantastic today. Well done. Everyone has a lot of points. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's managed to, to move at least a little bit. It's yeah. a really good day. So what I assume what is going to happen tonight is um, they're going to be um, consolidating, what consolidating what happened today and then They'll sleep a little bit Hopefully well. they'll sleep a bit. You need <laughs> sleep. Um, you're, you're not robots. Um, just, <laughs> and they'll come back tomorrow and compete even more. Yeah. So um, we have a few... Um, we have a few people to thank. First of all, thank you to the viewers for joining. Um, you make um, our um, our day a lot better with all of your comments, and it means a lot that you've come out to watch us. Um, we're also going to have to say a massive thank you to our sponsors. Um, without whom this wouldn't be possible. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we have our uh, gold tier sponsors and above. We have Adventurous Machines. We have IT Dev. We have the Electronics and Computer Science Department at the University of Southampton. Where we both studied. We both studied there. <laughs> Woo! So thank you. But in addition to our sponsors, we would not be able to do any of this without our donations as well. So thank you to everyone who's donated. Please. If you can afford it, if it won't affect you, we really appreciate even small donations because that, that's what keeps us going. We're all volunteers We're here. We're all volunteers here. And just, yeah, hoping to spread our love for electronics to the world. Absolutely. We, we love STEM. We love seeing people getting excited about STEM. It's, it's just, it's, it's, all, it's all STEM. All STEM from here. Yeah, a lot of STEAM as well. That is true. There's a lot of art as well. Like, that is true. A, a lot of teams, you know, the... They, they have laser cut bits, they have different designs. A lot of teams have painted on bits as well and yep. hand drawn sections. So there's yep. a lot of different. One of the teams, uh, which one was it? With the. Uh, Richard Collier, uh, with their uh, Thunder Collier design. Their mascot was actually drawn by one of the team members. It's wow. a little dinosaur that's with, really uh, cool. holding a screwdriver. And uh, <laughs> they, they made badges for everyone. So, yeah, no matter your interest, no matter exactly. how wide. Well, I think that's very reflective of. Um, how good how good teams work even in yes. um, proper engineering it takes everyone everyone's contribution matters to make the team work and diversity is crucial because if everyone has the same ideas then you know what, no, what's the point you don't really get anywhere that's why you have such weird and wacky designs at these competitions mm -hmm. every single year like every year something else surprising so, exactly and obviously if you're watching this and you're like hey we really like the look of your blue shirts and we really like the look of what you guys have done here you can head over to streamrobotics.org slash volunteer. Yeah. These shirts are not for sale. These they, shirts, are they are exclusive. <laughs> yeah, it, you, you could grab a t-shirt and you could be uh, like us. You could be, um, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, because I mean, <sighs> even with that, just like the donations, if you can mm. only give a couple of hours, yep. you, even throughout the year rather than just here, that, that would be amazing. Yep, definitely. So, um, thank you very much to everyone who um, has been watching the stream. Um, we'll be back tomorrow on Sunday. Yeah, it is Sunday, Sunday. tomorrow, yes. Of April. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for Moana and myself, and on behalf of the entire Stream Robotics community, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. <laughs>